idea of a link, but an actual link. Yeah. I'm a viewer waiting already. Let's do it. Let's go live. Cool. Did it do it? Wait, one concurrent viewer, three concurrent viewers. I think it's doing it. It's a little bit different because I'm doing it on here and I don't understand if it's <laughs> if it's working or not. So if someone is can, if you could type in chat. Are you in there, Zach? No, I have no idea where it is. Okay, fair it. enough. I need to get you a thing. There's the link. There. Cool. Yo, we got some people hanging out here. Look at that. The crew's popping in. Can everyone hear me? I did get a haircut. Thanks for noticing. I can That's hear you. Awesome. Okay. All right. So we just jumped in. I'm just going to play a little Imperator Rome while I, while I talk, chat with you guys, I'm thinking. If that's cool. I did get a haircut for sure. Let's do it. Do a little Egypt gameplay. I think the first thing I want to do is build an army. How's everyone doing today? I'm always, I, I never know how to start this, how to how to chat with with the players. Let's see, what do I got here? I have ten thousand heavy infantry. Let's get some iron then. Sounds great, huh? Look at that. Look at everyone's popping in. This is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Doing awful, huh? Colm O'Driscoll, huh? <laughs> um, I'm playing in Imperator Rome. It's a newer game that just came out. I'm pretty excited to play as it. Um, it's, it takes place right after Alexander the Great's death, about 20 years or so. And so there's these successor kingdoms that are here. There's a couple kingdoms that kind of fell apart after him. And I'm going to play as Egypt. That's one of the one of the more powerful ones for sure. So let's go ahead and we'll build an army. we got to be ready here to fight some dudes. So let's do, let's do this here. I don't know if I actually want any heavy guys because I've played as Egypt before. And the problem is it's a lot of desert. So it's a, it's a lot of death that happens when you're walking through, unfortunately. Imperator Rome, that's right. All right, let's see here. So what do you guys got going on today, huh? Just just hanging out. That's pretty cool. Anyone got any? Do anything cool for Easter? Easter is a it's a pretty big one. Oh, let's get these dudes here. These I think are light cavalry. That's what we need. We need some dudes that are not gonna get hurt in the desert. That's what we need. One, two, three, four, five for those guys. And we'll get five of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's get five archers. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to build another army of the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, perfect. Good. Just enough spaces for that one. What's up? <laughs> for Easter, man, avoided my aunt. <laughs> That's kind of funny, man. <laughs> Killed your friends. You goofballs in there. Easter. That's a thing. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's see what we want to do. Let's um, let's boost up the old manpower. I think that seems to be something that I always run out in this game. Yeah, that got me, man. It, well, it's it's like weirdly, it's a weirdly honest answer, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's true. <laughs> it's, it's weirdly specific. Okay, so I've got this guy up here. So I think what we'll do is split him up into four armies. Because I've tried to keep him as, as 30,000 stacks, or 30,000 man armies, and there's just too many guys. That's the only thing. So we need to... Let's see, we need to hire one of these dudes so they're not mad at me. I'll put a person in charge, I suppose. OK, 
Okay, that's beautiful. The weird thing about this time period, though, is you can... I need to set up my kids with some marriages here so that they have some friends, but um, kind of the gross thing is a big t part of this time period is there's a lot of intermarriage between families and it's not like cousin to cousin it's a little bit it's a little bit more close than that reminds me of medieval total war if you ever played that one yeah man exactly day. right <laughs> exactly right you can literally like marry your brothers mm -hmm. it's like, oh, that's like a okay. only certain countries can do it in this one and egypt is one of them because they're trying to keep the bloodline pure because they are like descent they think they're descendants of like alexander is kind of the idea And then we'll do, oh, we want our generals to be loyal, and we want to be able to improve relations well. And that should give us a bonus. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I've just been really happy with this map. I feel like it's a really beautiful game. Kill my friends. <laughs> you goofballs. <laughs> yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, so we got our two armies in the north. We just gotta wait for these dudes to be built down here. Oh, I don't know if I remember how I had these organized. You know what? I do. It was five of these dudes. One of these has to be good. Five of these dudes. That's two. One, two, three. That's two more. And then we'll screw one more. And then the rest of these guys are all together. And then over here... These guys are all one, but I need to find a place to put them so that they don't die in the desert. One of these places should be good enough. Ooh, right here. And we'll leave these dudes to get out of the way. Yeah, you gotta look for easy relatives. Play <laughs> to that too well. You avoided my aunt with the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the epitome of crazy. Leroy James! Alright, we gotta claim on Alexander's former empire, huh? And first things first, we are going to take out this big purple guy right here, Blemia. Oh, I became a friend with the dude. Nice. <laughs> All of these are units that you're moving. I was just looking. So what's the one k and three k mean? Yeah, it's cohorts, man. The first time I played this, I tried to wipe out some dudes, and I um, I kept them around in thirty thousand armies, like thirty thousand guys at a time. And the problem, like I said, is like it's all desert in Egypt. So, <laughs> like by the time they get done marching somewhere, there's like fifteen thousand guys left. It's gross. Okay, so we need two hundred oratory power in order to declare war. Why do I have a blockaded port? Pirates? I've never had that happen before. Interesting. I know I have like zero navy in the beginning of the game as Egypt because their navy just got destroyed. I guess. Right before in some other war that happens before the game. Ooh. <clears throat> Leroy Jenkins. Okay, let's see here. Okay, now we need to put some armies in charge of this dude. Affiliated? Do we have one of those? We do. Put him in charge of there. You have like families as well that live in your in your country. So there's um it's kind of Game of Thrones y. There's like royal families that are all kind of buying for control. And they get mad if they don't get certain roles in government. So you have to sometimes give them like generalships or appoint them as governors to make sure that they are not upset at you. Which is kind of a bummer because sometimes you would rather have a good general as opposed to a family general. That's really get you. Why is this guy... Oh, no, he should be good here. And then next month we should be able to go to war. Let's do it. We just invented property tax. There we go. Oh, I need actually maybe one or two more months. Huh? Follow me plus five. Please. <laughs> Come on, Driscoll's ass. I don't know how, how ALR's doing. Kind of, been, kind of been giving her a break, for sure. <laughs> a pretty aggressive drink of the drink of the old can let's see sorry right, so we got to get ready here because we're gonna have to end up fighting the guys in the west as well as the guys in the east and maybe what we should do is just get our armies ready in the east because that is definitely going to be a place where we're gonna have to fight 
Um, oh, none of these places really support that big of an army, do they? All right, they're allowed to do. So we'll really, I think the goal is going to be to set up a strong Egypt. I don't really want to go after Alexander's old kingdom, which is all of this across this the Seleucid one, which is like Persia, this big blue guy. I don't even want to push to the east. I think what would be nice, in the same way that the Romans got control of the Mediterranean, I'd like to get control of this the Cenus Arabicus right here. I think it'd be cool to have a little empire right here, and I think there's a lot of resources in there as well. So I'll have to push down. I just know the only person that I have to really worry about, not really worry about, but they're kind of a hassle to take over, is um, Kush right here, the Kushite kingdom. They're kind of nasty. It's the opposite of a break, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, here we go. 2nd of June, we can declare war. You know what's funny, Shemalama Ding Dong Minecraft? Um, probably, as as it comes out. <laughs> that's, that's probably most definitely what's going to happen. That's usually how they do it, isn't it? It usually makes the game better, though. I don't know. I'm not too picky about it, just because I, I get a lot of enjoyment from the games. They're fun. So we're going to invade, and we are also going to recruit this mercenary group right here. And they are going to face many, mo most of the enemies, because I am not in the mood to have my own dudes die. Because manpower seems to be a really hard thing to get in this game, which is a bit unfortunate. It makes wars tricky. <laughs> Here. Look at us. Look at our boys marching in. I think the mercenaries look kind of ugly. They got a, kind of a weird, gross looking hat, don't they? Alright. Let's keep moving down. Ooh, I did not win the Olympics. That's a bummer. I think I've only ever won the Olympics one time playing this. It's the greatest day of my life. <laughs> I enjoy history. I don't. I don't know if I call myself a history buff. I think that's kind of a scary thing because then you'll meet one guy who there's like, oh yeah, well tell me about this, and then you don't know, and you make yourself look like a real fool. The Red Sea looked like a slug. Huh. <laughs> yeah, kinda, doesn't it? <laughs> It's 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 thin and windy a little bit. I don't know. I've never really thought about it that way, but eh, I guess I'll, I'll give you it. I ain't mad about that. It seems like it could be a thing, huh? <laughs> Ooh, let's see. Let's see. We got our dudes. Let's move in here, and then I don't actually think I can pass this. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I don't want to march too many guys in, do I? How many guys have they got? They've got thirteen cohorts. It looks like so. The biggest their army can be is 13,000 guys, it looks Oh, I say that, and then I see 14,000 guys right there. Down to the south. I'm pretty confident, though, I'd be able to beat them. I'll keep the mercenaries in his backup, so if I need to, I can bring those 6,000 guys down and make a 20,000 army to just smash them. But um, hopefully we won't have to worry about that, because I'd rather not battle them. But I think if, once I take this, I, I've won the war. And it looks like they're, I'm going to be uncontested, so I should... I really should be ready to take out this guy, and he says he only has three. He might jump up a little bit more, maybe up to like 10, 15, but um, I have 30,000 in the area, so I should, I'm not too worried. And then it'll be um, a swing west, I'm thinking, to these guys, Saranica, just, just to really establish Egypt's borders so we don't have to worry about anything. Oh, did they fight me? They must have. Yeah, and I kicked their butts, huh? Nice. How many guys do I need? What, 6,000? It's more than I wanted to use in this war. I, I should have led with the mercenaries a little bit more, I think. But, um, you know what? Live and learn. Oh, and I have another 15k army down in here? That's right. So I should get him over here ready to roll. Because these guys, I've had it where I fight them. The, your turtle's watching it with you, huh? <laughs> yeah, I find the game genuinely enjoyable. I'm having a good time. I'm not here. If I didn't find it genuinely enjoyable, I wouldn't be playing it. That's for sure. Look at all these people I'm turning into rivals with. Ooh, let's get these guys good. Nice and good. Some stuff I don't super understand yet, like the technology, I don't it doesn't super click for me. But um I'm learning. 
Did I get it? I did. Our enemies deserve no quarter. I don't want their families part of my kingdom. If they're if they're Greek families, I'll bring them in, but I don't think otherwise I will. So let's bring this guy back up here. Get him ready to fight as well. Because we gotta get ready to take out that dude. And you know what? Let's get risky. Let's leave our, our whole south undefended. Let's bring all our guys up. That way we get ready to, to push west and east. The biggest problem I've run into is um it's Kush as well as these guys in the east here, Lithian, Thamud, because they, they gang up together. They have like an alliance or a defensive league or something. This purple guy, this blue guy, and this green guy here. And all of them together is pretty tough. And there's so much attrition. And you just have to keep fighting your way down. And by the, like, you march in there with 50,000 guys. And by the time you fight one of their armies, you only have like 15,000 left. And then they can beat you. That's the unfortunate part. What are you doing? <laughs> Let's see. So we need a governor of this place. <laughs> Grievous? Oh, he's the best guy for the job, too. Marcus Grievous. We'll put him in charge. He's incapable and humble. That seems like a <laughs> that seems like a good match. We'll make him governor of the south. I'm still blockaded. I just got pirates. Why? I wonder if I can tell him to get lost. That'd be nice. I know with like barbarians, you can pay them off. I just figured that out. So that's pretty cool. And this dude, what do I need? Fabricate claim 180. And we'll take that guy out. And then this blue guy right here is like my subject, and I can integrate him in like 20 years. So once that happens, I think that'll give me a chance to really build up against Kush. And I think this time when I go against them, it's gonna be it's gonna be a storm across because they pop up and they say they only have like 6,000 guys, but they will have more than that for sure, and they are nasty to fight. Let's do more manpower. Um, we will not bend to foreign influence. We are going to stay Greek and not go Egyptian. We're going to stay Hellenistic. Okay, let's see. We need a new guy here. The Manithoids. Let's put him in charge. Let's get him in there. Starving Pops. Yeah, I don't care. Those nerds. <laughs> let's see. A fear for her scale, huh? Yeah, that's an interesting one. That's right. She is kind of kind of nervous about that. I guess I get that though. I mean, she probably isn't isn't happy where she's at, right? That's like um, that's got to be a thing. Whoa! Do a final fortune here. A citizen appears in Babylon. You know, what? I'd rather have some slaves. Let's get some slaves. My favorite. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then let's build this lighthouse. We're going to build the Lighthouse of Alexandria. It's one of the wonders of the world, you guys. It sounds weird when my turtle is watching. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> my turtle's watching. <laughs> the measure you're by don't weigh in. Eh, I guess. That's true. I don't know. I, I Actually, I don't know the difference between those two things. What's the turtle's name? That's true. What's your turtle's name? Who was that? That said that Sam? Colm or Driscoll? Yeah, Colm. How did I forget that? Dang old Driscoll's always blocking the road. Have you played Red Dead 2, Zach? Have I? No, I've done it on the console. Oh, fair enough, fair enough, I suppose. <laughs> That's a good one, man. That's a fun one. I know. I, really, I want to play it. I just don't, I don't own a journey. I get you. It's a pretty good name for a turtle. What is it? Is it, old, old is it Truddy or Trudy? You'd think. You would think. But you never know. It's a turtle, so it doesn't need a conventional name. <laughs> what kind? You're not wrong. I'm not even like a turtle expert. Who knows? I don't know that there was like different really kinds. I mean, I guess it makes sense that there's different kinds. I just didn't really think about that. It's never crossed my mind. They all look the same, kind of. Is a tortoise a turtle? Well, what do you know? Do you, can tortoises swim, Reed? Do you know? I don't think they can because remember that that meme where the dude is like thinks they're saving a, a tortoise and they toss it in the water? Yeah, and they actually just killed it. 
<laughs> yeah, but they're like really proud of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's kind of messed up it's it's kind of funny too though you know is a fox turtle is that a tortoise or a turtle i don't know i i don't i i'm not a turtle expert man how you know i have no idea how come i can't improve relations with this dude Is that how they determine, you think? I, I don't know, but from what I've heard, all tortoises cannot swim. Huh. It could be. I, I just don't, I don't know. So tiny would you also watch YouTube with me. Well, that's pretty slick. He loves just watching YouTube, huh? He like leaves his turtle unsupervised for a little bit and then he's got a whole bunch of stuff that's on like his watch later list. He's all mad at his turtle for it. Ooh, new military tradition. The veterans of the Great Campaign. We'll do. How old is he? How old? Turtles can get old, right? You can have a turtle for a long time. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. Turtles can live for a very long time. Super long. Yeah, you know, look at these nerds coming up behind me here. That's kind of irritating. Okay, I want to. I need to hire some of these mercenaries and swing them across east to deal with this n loser. Thirteen point five two a month. Oh, that's expensive. But you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta wipe out this dude before he. Because the thing is, that if they occupy your land, they'll take your people as slaves and kill them. And then I don't want them moving into the... I don't care if it happens in the east as much, but I don't want them coming into the um, the Nile. We ain't got no time for this. We don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for this. That's most of his time on his rock. He's just trying to get warm, dude. He's probably got a little heat lamp or something he's hanging out by. That's how I imagine all reptiles hanging out. If box turtles can swim... LOL, they were asking if box turtles can swim. Look at us, we're like gonna look like a couple idiots. I don't know though. I have no idea if box turtles can swim oh, or not. I don't either, that's why I was asking. I don't got the slightest idea. Is that it's supposed to be like some obvious thing? Oh, they do swim. The guy says so. Uh, Most turtles live in water and tortoises live on land. However, not all turtles require the same amount of water. Okay. I like how we're learning and stuff. It's an educational thing. Porcupine. <laughs> Fred Flintstoner. <laughs> That's a good name. Porcupine. Ooh, a little trade agreement. I'll take, I'll take it. Those mercenaries did not do very well. There was like 19,000 of them against 3,000 of those guys, and they lost. A bunch of nerds. A bunch of losers. How many guys can this get raised? Oh, I'll get him. I'll get him. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. I know that's like a big thing, yeah, is people will get turtles because sometimes people get them because they last or it's so long. It's just kind of cool. Hey, what's up? Nice to nice to see you. Hi, LOL, Fred Flitstoner says. Oh, let's get some soldiers, some soldiers in there. Some dudes. I think we're we're in control of the situation here. We're gonna win this war. Get a little better each time I play. So we just gotta siege this and then I think we'll win. And then we can focus on this dude over here in like two months. Which, what is this province? Marmar, Marmarica. Marmarica. Trudy, dude. Happy birthday. Let's get some soul juice. <laughs> some soldiers? Is that, is that right? 
<laughs> Let's get some soul juice. So I should be sane. Oof. That's gonna put me in debt for sure. I'm gonna lose my mercs. Um, and then what? What am I missing? Oh, I got a gift. Never mind. I'm not in debt. That's kind of nice. I didn't know that could happen. What's this guy up to? No, dude, get get lost. You you kind of embarrass yourself, mercenary. So you're gonna go back eat west. Where's this guy going now? What's going on here? What's the kind of game are they playing, huh? What can happen as well, you have to put generals in charge of your armies, and if your generals aren't loyal to you, they can um, take control of the army. They, they, they'll still fight for your country, but they will not listen to you, and they'll do whatever they want. And they can do civil wars against you to try to take over. Look at that, we're getting, we're getting swole. Hmm. That's beautiful. Alright, let's bring these guys back home. To here. Nice. Finish the great lighthouse. Let's take a look. There it is. Right on the right on the old sea. Right next to this pirate ship that I don't really have a way to deal with. I don't know if I can even import wood to deal with it because won't they stop my import? Unless I have wood somewhere else in the Empire. I wonder if I can do that. That'd be nice. Right, let's see. Let's import some cloth from Walking in Memphis. Let's import something else. What's his favorite food? Leaves? What does a turtle eat? Leaves? <laughs> turtle birthday party. Did you get him something cool? I think he wanted that, um, he was looking for like a new toy or something lately, I think was what was going on. The turtle. He wanted the new uh, the new GI Joes that just came out. Okay, we want Marmarica, and then on the 29th of August we can we can march our guys right on in and fight them. And he's got six thousand guys with the potential to raise like up to thirty six thousand really if he doesn't get mercenaries, which seems like we should be able to deal with no problem because I have like 30,000 guys ready to lock and load and another 20,000 on the way so let's get in there oh I'm gonna get some money I need the money <laughs> those worm things his face is so weird veggies and fruit bugs yeah, that's why I don't think I'd ever want a reptile. I don't like touching bugs, man. And I just feel like I have to touch a bug every day to feed my feed an animal. Ooh, I need more. I need more civic power. What's this? Yeah, that's okay. We have a disloyal province in the south. But you know what? They're lame. So I ain't too worried. Lots of people we just took over to the way south, though. The first war. Ooh, shoot. The goal here, we just want to occupy the main areas, and then we can, we can beat them. How's our manpower? Man, that's a bummer. We start with a lot of manpower, and it's already. I feel like we haven't really lost that many battles, but it's already down in the dumps. We got some mercenaries there over here in case we get into a jam. So that's cool. I won't, I'm not able to hire him. I don't have enough money. I like them tiny white maggots. He loves them. Yeah, they do. They like those kind of... Um, they like bugs, don't they? I've seen the bugs that people will give them. Those little larva things. They're gross. What's this? Pay off. How much money do you guys want to leave me alone, huh? 130? Let's do it. Let's make a deal. Because I do not... The thing is, when rebels are down here, it is so hard to get them because they just run around this loop, and they you have to chase them forever, and they just ravage everything while they do it. It's annoying. <laughs> the first time I gave wait, Zivenzilla make up one of the best tanks. Says the first time I gave him one, he ran away. He was hyped, dude. He was he was hyped up. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, do we free some slaves? Let's do it. Let's free some slaves. Let's get some free men. I think they boost research if you free your slaves. That's that's the beautiful thing, huh? We get some smart, smart cookies. This guy right here is gonna need a thing. That's gotta be his whole army right there. Three Ooh, I have dysentery. Gross. Three, five, seven, ten. So there's that that's his whole army right there. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident we'll be able to to do something about that. We just want to do this in like five months at least. Please, after this live stream, please remember my dang turtle, lol. <laughs> I'm begging you, dude. Please, if nothing else. <laughs> Why? I don't even really get, I don't know, that's kind of funny, the turtle thing. Just kind of there. Ooh, let's move this guy deep in. Let's get some... Ooh, what do we got here? Wild game. We don't want that because we don't really have tribesmen. We could do... Ooh, we could do all kinds of cool stuff. The grain. Grain boost population growth. That seems like a thing. And we'll import that from Memphis as well. That seems like a nice place. You ever go walking in Memphis, Zach? You're out of control. <laughs> All right, let's march these guys in. I think we just we really just want to occupy as fast as we can. Cuz I don't want to lose a ton of soldiers doing this. If they're the mercenaries that we lose, I don't care. But um I don't want to lose my soldiers. I think that's fair. Let's move him here. Get another army here. Man, I'm in the negative now. Which means... So now these guys are like gonna get lost. They won't listen to me because they don't have enough money. Okay. Yep, bye. I lost my mercenaries. That's a bummer. That's okay. I'm pretty confident we'll be able to beat these guys. Right, it's in a battle on a tortoise. <laughs> okay, let's move in. Let's get them. What's this? Deficit? Yeah, I know we're in a deficit. That's why I got rid of the mercenaries. It's too much money. The things you gotta do to build an empire, though, huh? You Sometimes you gotta run in the red a little. Let's annex this guy. 1477? I missed that window by about five years. Usually I can get him by 1472. That's a bummer. Wheeze. <laughs> what other kind of pets we got? I don't have any pets. I don't know. I'd think about getting a pet someday, but I, I can't have pets right now. I just don't really see... I guess I don't have a super want for one. I'd get something simple, though. I mean, I guess as simple as can be. As simple as things are, I do um like a dog or something, something classy, something classy, something classic. You know what I mean? Siege ability, that's what we want. Cause I do not like waiting for sieges. Yeah. <laughs> Goofballs. So let's see. Do we just go straight in? I wonder what we need for all this. So we need Medrion and we need Kynon. So Medrion is here, Kynon is here. So we as long I think if I capture this place and this place, the guy will surrender. And then I'll get all that land. All that juicy land. Oh shoot. Are we gonna get into a battle here? Hmm. Oh, it 100% looks like I won. I'm going to win, though. So, that's good. Not simple, though, or classy. Yeah, exactly right. No animal is, is without its, um... What's this about? Oh, you know what? I never liked this sun. That's true. I'm going to get rid of him. Die. I think my heir just died. That's cool. So then he becomes my new heir, right? 
He's cool anyways. He's got some awesome stats. And his name is Philadelphus. Like Philadelphia. That's a cool name. I'll have him marry his sister. And then we'll... And then move on. Nice, dude. How old is he? He's young, too, which is awesome. Because I'd rather have a young ruler that leads for a long time. Because my guy's 75 years old. Oof. It's old, man. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, especially good with tortoises, right? <laughs> Think on the bright side, it has legs. As opposed to, like what, like a snake? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's conquer him. We'll conquer him. We'll integrate this blue guy, and then we'll take out Kush, man. And then we'll have a, a beautiful, a beautiful looking empire. That's what we're going for, is the beauty of it. More trade. I'm always willing to trade stuff away for the, the cash, the money. Let it flow. I think I have another decision where... Oh, maybe not. I built Alexander's Lighthouse and I, I thought there was another one. Weird. Yeah, this is gross. In order to reunite Alexander's empire, all these green things that pop up, I need to own all of the green. Or I need to own those provinces, so like... This one, this one, this one, this one. No way, man. Because you have to go back to Alexander's original borders. I ain't that good at the game. I don't think anyone's ever done that one. Does that say Kush? It does. It's the Kushite Empire. They're tough, man. They they ain't no um. They're not a pushover in this game. They really aren't. They're really nasty to fight because you have to fight them down this whole path. And the attrition is horrible, so you can march in there with a huge army, and by the end, you don't have much left. What's this? I can build a shrine, huh? I'll do it. A shrine to the gods. Let's wipe out his army. Should I, though? Do I even need to? Why waste the guys, you know? I'm gonna need them for wars to come, you know? <laughs> Oh, look at us go, man. What is this, Med Medrian? It's a game based off of ancient civilizations. Yeah, I don't think that they're making like a joke towards like weed or nothing. Why don't I have this? Ah, because of the... whatever. Because this is gonna... it's gonna flip in a second though, huh? And then I'll just own that. Now I can get peace, it looks like. Get some money from them. And... Looks like our enemies. Oh shoot, they're Greek. I didn't want to mean to kill them, but that's okay. I guess sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Look at that now, huh? It's a, it's a pretty cute little Egypt. The only gross thing is when you go into simple train mode, what it, it butchers the name. Is there another called Indica? I don't know. India is kind of Maria, is what it's called. And this is all Greek guys through here. Ooh. Yeah, we got some more exhaustion. Let's bump that down. Let's swing the armies back east. You can go. Um, one of these places has to be able to support an army. There you go. You can go here. And you can go here. And then we have 30,000 guys here. So I'm thinking you. Ah, shoot. Or do we want to try to wipe out one of these dudes? Because we could go in there with four 15k armies. I think I've tried that before, though, and I don't think it worked out, but I don't want to dig deep. I mean, we have a lot of mercenaries here, but I don't want to go into debt trying to do it. You know? Hmm. What I should maybe do is build a navy. Okay. One more month, and I should be able to build another piece. Wait a second. What's this say? What's this say? <laughs> Colm O'Driscoll. Hit or miss. My turtle killed your kids, huh? He kissed your girlfriend and traded her for a worm, yeah. He's gonna find another worm and he won't miss ya. He's gonna kill a cat and eat that cat like pizza. <laughs> Why? Why was that a thing? Why was that necessary? <laughs> works, I guess. It works. 
That was a good one. That was nice. I like that meme. That's kind of a fun song, man. It, say what you will, but it has a catchy tune. This is not a free game. No, this one just came out. I think it's like 40 bones about the area. 40 bucks right on the area. Yeah, like anything fun, I think they release stuff you got to pay for to get better. They are kind of like that, aren't they, this company? It's unfortunate. Um, that's just kind of the way it is. The, the games all times, yeah, are, aren't super phenomenal at launch. They're pretty bare bones. And then there's DLC that are released over the next couple of years that enhance piece by piece the game. And you'd, you'd wish they would just release a full game, but I don't know. I guess I don't really mind. I, I let it slide. I'm not too mad about it. For the remix, huh? <laughs> yeah, the turtle song was pretty good, man. <laughs> like Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> it's a decent one. What's this now? Barbarians? Oh, these dudes. These, I think I paid them off, though. Yeah. So they're not going to fight me. They're going to go somewhere else. Good. Because the that's a really nasty thing I've noticed about Egypt is tons of barbarians will come out of here. And it's really annoying. Barbarian power. Why? Oh, I wonder if there's a way to... I wonder if there's a way to shut that down. Weird. Until end of game, marriage barbarian growth. So that's like a thing that they set up there, huh? They want barbarians to come from here. Interesting. Because they're nasty. Because when they show up, they just ravage this whole area. And I'd rather that wasn't the case. I guess as long as they don't get through here, I don't really care. As long as they don't touch the Nile. Song, dude. <laughs> Okay, let's see. We have a bad research ratio, huh? I guess we'll just have to live with that for now. Any of you guys see that Endgame movie? Hmm? That's pretty... I saw that yesterday. That was, that was decent. No spoilers, of course. Wait, wait, wait. What happened here? Why is there a different country? That's weird. Ooh. Ooh. This is the perfect time. Why are we... And the guys aren't even that far? This is going to be awesome. Usually I don't have such an awesome ability or awesome chance to do this, but um, we're gonna take out this guy instead for now. Different war planned. We're gonna take out purple guy and blue guy, and then these guys weak. Cause usually these guys are allied together, but it looks like they're not. There must be like a civil war or something. <laughs> it's a good game. Don't you dare spoil even a second. It's a great game. I. A lot of the games that these guys make are, are pretty good, I think. I have a lot of fun with them. And there's one for each, like, uh, time period. So this one, of course, is, is the um, the classic worlds, so, like, Rome and everything. But there are some that are... Why can't I move? Oh, there's... some. I, I will say this is kind of annoying. Sometimes I can't even see the arrow for my soldiers. There we go. So we'll have... What, what is that? 60,000 guys ready to take them out against their... Maximum 30,000. And this guy usually has more. Oh, he doesn't. He has even less. Dude, this will be easy. Bar more barbarians? Oh, right here. Can I pay this one off? I don't have that much money, though, huh? 120? I just would rather not deal with these dumb barbarians. I just usually like to pay them off, because then they just go away. Otherwise, they go through, and it takes so long for armies to get to them that they, um, when they take over a province, they, they add, like, a, they ruin it. They screw it up. At least a mercy line, huh? <laughs> I don't have any merch right now. Yeah, sing Endgame tonight. Don't you dare. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I won't spoil anything about Endgame. Ooh, let's see. Oh, my guy was sick. Huh. Oh, he's a kid. Baron, Berenice. She's a daughter. Oh, also with these guys, what's interesting is um, it's not uh, it's not agnatic. I think is the word. So what that means is like. I think, I think I'm using the word right. But um, it, the male doesn't inherit necessarily. It's just the oldest child. So even if I have an older daughter, she'll inherit. And that's kind of like, like that's how Cleopatra got in there. 
I'm the I'm playing as the family that eventually has Cleopatra as a kid. In like actually in like two hundred years or so, is that when that happens? It's like two hundred years before Cleopatra and Caesar, I think. Eh, maybe one fifty or so. <laughs> is that right, Colonel Driscoll? Just it just pencil it in. <laughs> I feel like it'd look cool on like a like a nice white hoodie. I feel like that would make sense. But I don't know. I'm no expert. I'm no expert. <laughs> you goofballs. Ooh, let's see. Yeah, we got our armies moving east. If he claimed it legally, you're F screwed. You're f screwed. F screwed. I don't think you have to worry too much about me going after you about stuff. I'm not too, I'm not too mean about it. Turn the light on. So that I can actually see. Ooh, I can spend some points. Let's see what we need here. Let's do research points plus 10%. That seems like it's like a compounding thing, huh? The earlier you grab that, probably the better. And we need some more ships. How many do we have? Three, three. I can't pick up a gun. Hang on, man. I, can't, I literally can't get a gun. <laughs> what are you playing, Zach? Fork knife. Fork knife. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I built this. I just couldn't get to it. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we'll have fifteen ships at the end. We'll get them. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, I lost all claims in Alexander's Empire. I think my dude died, huh? Oh, what's this? Yep, so now I'm the son. I'm Philadelphus. Because Ptolemy Soter died. We bring sad news. He's 77, man. That's old dude. All right, let's see. So this guy, who is what? Like my brother? Yes. He's like my half-brother. He... Raise an army against me. Where? Oh, in 13 months. 37.5% is commanded by disloyal generals. Where? I don't... It's gotta be disloyal characters. He's the general of the second Stratos, which is not an army. I don't see that. Right? Oh, this guy needs a thing. We'll put him in charge. The leader. I was chosen. We'll call this one. Ooh, Alexander's chosen. We'll give him. We'll give him some pseudo cool names here. Oh, here he is. Which is how many guys is this? Thirty six thousand, huh? And he, he, he's not loyal. That's gonna be a tough one. Oh, and I don't really have that much manpower. Let's see. How are we gonna deal with this? See you, Colm. Let's get risky. Let's get let's get weird. <laughs> Hello friends. What's poppin'? Hey, what's up? That's right, it's free advertising, right? It's free it's free real estate. Okay, so this guy's got and this is the ninth Stratos. Which is loyal to me. So let's give it a name. Call it Ptolemy's Gate. Because what time I read a book called that? And we'll call this one. I don't know. The Sons of Egypt. Did I spell that right? Egypt? Egypt. Yep. Nailed it. Alright, so now we have our four armies. Automated army. Yeah, there it is. 36,000 dudes. Man, I'm definitely going to face a civil war, huh? When? 13 months? Will I be ready? That's the question. I think we'll be okay. Oh, and not, but then we have some slaves revolting, huh? You know what we should do? If I make how much money a turn? I wonder if... I don't have any mercenaries. Why can't I hire this dude? I need 400 bucks? 400 dollars? <laughs> they, you should have like a workshop or something, right? Can I even negotiate with this guy? I don't think so, huh? He's actually going to siege me. 
What's this? Oh, am I going to kill these barbarians? No, they're not even going to fight. Because I paid them off. Oh, but they're fighting, who is this, Phrygia? Oh, it looks like they're falling apart. That's good. And they're at war with Aeolia and Thrace. So Thrace is here. Oh, and Aeolia is here. So they're fighting across here. The Seleucids look like they're in a fight, too. Looks like I'm, I'm sitting pretty stable, though. Hey, guy. <laughs> What's up, guys? How's it going? We're just chatting. We're just hanging out, playing some, some video games. Making Alexander proud, indeed. That's the goal, but not by recreating his empire, because I'm too much of a puss to do that. And I don't think I'm that good at the game yet. Where's this guy going? So he is going to be a problem. Ten months. He's got 30,000 guys. I need to be ready to deal with that. So we'll send him here. We'll send him here. And we'll send him here. We're going to surround his army because in in about a year, this army of 30,000 guys is going to flip. And it's it's my my character's half-brother. So it's, it's my half-brother here. And he is going to... Personal loyalty. He's going to declare war on me, is what's going to happen. And his guys are super loyal to him, it looks like, as well. Whereas mine are. Uh, some of these are pretty loyal to their generals, but they're not super loyal to, to Egypt or me. And I don't really want him screwing stuff up. Do this. Get some medals. And then I think in a second here we'll be able to wipe out these pirates and then we'll have a fleet. A fleet in being, if you will. And let's get all the soldiers here. Because I think we might be able to hit them with like 60,000 guys if we do it quick. That's the hope, at least. <laughs> An ALR collab with Kicking Geese. I haven't ever reached out to Kicking Geese. I'll, I'll send it an email, though. I'll ask. Ooh. Our population's growing. He's got like... Oh, he's losing a lot of guys to attrition. Oh, his army's... Oh, he's got war elephants. Hmm. Interesting. Let's encourage some deserters. Egypt loses 100 military power six times? I don't understand that. Okay, but what if I do it? What happens? Did I do it? Is something going to happen? Ah, oh, there's that slave revolt in the south too that I just would rather not deal with right now. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the civil war anymore now that I see how fast he's losing dudes to attrition. <laughs> I'll send an email. I'll send an email out to Kicking Geese and I'll ask. For sure. Someone remind me and send me an email about it. Um... Like, send an email. Send an email to me right there. I don't know. I don't like that it just split that like that. But it's yesterbarkus at gmail.com. And just, just just say, do a collab with, with Kicking Geese in the email. And I'll, just so I don't forget. Because I don't want to forget, you guys. I don't want to forget. You goons. Ooh, what happened here? Where's this? More barbarians? Bro, I don't have this kind of money to be dealing with this. I need like 100 gold to even raise an army there. Okay. I wonder what happens if I actually make him loyal to me. I probably would just get his army, right? Blood of the Lagaday. Alright, let's see. So he's... I don't know who his mom is, but I think, yeah, we know who my mom is. Interesting. She is, oh, he's only having daughters. I wonder then, actually, oh, shoot, if I had more money. Because I wonder if I reward veterans. And if four cohorts flip to my side, I wonder if, like, he would lose those guys in the revolution. I don't know enough about the game, I guess, to really know what would happen there. 
Thank you, Let's Get Crafty. For real, do it. I'll, I appreciate it. You should put in, if you can, if it's easy, if you're not on like, your phone or whatever, you should toss in a link to the channel, their, their channel as well, just so I can maybe track it down a little quicker. Otherwise, I'll find them. It's not too big of a deal. Oh, this is perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Because if this guy, this dummy, this guy that's about to do a civil war, I think he's going to go put down the slave rebellion with his guys, which is good because I'd rather his guys die than my guys die. Because when that happens, I think what's nice is when he flips. Yeah, look at how many guys he has now. I probably only need like one army in the area to even do anything about it. I shouldn't even have left this area. Huh. You know what we'll do? We'll get cocky. We'll send the army back. Over here. To get ready for an invasion. What is this region? This one. So now we can go to war with that guy. And we'll kill him. <laughs> you guys all had a good Easter though? I know, I was asking a little second ago. What's up? Anything cool? I got a ham the other day. We're, me, me and the Zach dude that was in here, we were just talking about it. It's a pretty good, pretty slick little thing. Ugh, more barbarians, huh? This guy should deal with those too. That'd be nice. He's kind of got this blocked off. I'm hoping that's going to be a continued thing for him. What's this? In one month, he's going to flip. Come on. Oh, he's going to he's going to free the, from us from barbarians, which is good. I just gotta keep chasing him though, and then Filleted here is gonna wipe him out when he flips. And I think we get a bunch of manpower when that happens. <gasps> Unless Filleted flips sides, of course. Gosh darn it. Did not see that coming. <laughs> the dude I had there that was supposed to wipe him out flipped on me. Like, son of a gun. Why do I, no lack of governor? I don't have a dude here, do I? Oh, that's, yeah, look at this right here. Yeah, okay, so then this is all of them as well. So that guy must have been loyal as well. Interesting. All right, I guess we're fighting a civil war. Yeah, I don't know how to put a general in here, or a governor. It doesn't seem like it's gonna let me. Um. Barbarians. Every city taken will automatically be part of the other side. So what we want to do, we need to bring these guys back. Because we need to... We need to deal with this. You know what though? They're dealing with the barbarians, so that's cool. That's helpful. And I think we have some more barbarians in the, in the west. Yeah. That's annoying. But you know what? I don't care too much about the West. That was more of just a buffer to protect against expansion. Nervous laughter. <laughs> That's right. When you're dealing with the Civil War, man. That's how it goes. So what have they got? They got like 20,000 guys. What have I got? Uh, like 40,000. So I don't number them about 2 to 1. I mean, I'm pretty confident I'll win. It's more just annoying because I'd really like to get on taking all these purple dudes. And how long until I get this guy in here into the fold? Not too long. 77, I think, so like 10 years in game. Okay, here we go. First battle. First battle against who? I don't even know who this guy is. Mago? I, I almost wonder then if Filleted wasn't the guy who flipped on me, and if they, like, maybe the soldiers were loyal to him. Maybe that's what happened. But we're going to... Why can't I walk through here? Oh, there must be, like, a siege I have to do, huh? Interesting. 
Yep, gonna have to siege him. Okay, how do I... I want... Oh, I must just have to just wipe him out. I like how it does an inverted flag, man, when it uh, when it's the other it's the other side, when they have a civil war. It's kind of cool. And then we can get these guys out to sea. Fight this guy here. Fight these pirates. And we're going to beat them, hopefully. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's what we needed with some money. Did we get them? Nice, man. Sweet. So now we don't have to worry about being blockaded anymore. That's one problem solved. Now he's got to deal with the Civil War. That's what happens, man, when you when you succeed the throne and your half-brother gets all mad at you for no reason. He wants to be king. He's the oldest son. Maybe he deserved it. Maybe I should let him win, huh? Not. Sorry, dog. Not today. Hey guys, has he got? And these guys are getting stronger by the second. I can't. I don't want to waste too much time because if I feel like if I wait too long, they're gonna get another alliance, and I'm gonna have to fight everybody and their mother to get in there. I'm gonna be. I'm more irritated that I probably have. I'm gonna have to go down through here. What happens if he dies? Plans assassination. Oh, I need to have to be like a friend. Okay, I guess I can't assassinate him. God, these guys over here are really annoying. If I have guys I can rise up. I could probably get some mercenaries now, but um, I don't know. I don't want to waste them. It's too expensive. I'll immediately go back into debt if that happens. Cool though, because these guys, I, I like them paying me money for my goods. Let's do. Yeah, let's keep doing manpower. Seems like I have a lot of religious power. Let's boost it up. Let's get super stable. Maybe that'll make us more money too. That'd be nice. Ooh, what do we got? Clear their ambition, talents of persuasion. Um, yeah, let's persuade him. I feel like my ruler is really good. I've never actually had it where this guy came out on top. He's got some awesome stats. Yeah, plus eight, plus eight, plus seven. Oh, you know what though? I wonder. Okay, cool. So these are set. I was worried that those were gonna flip off, and I didn't even notice. I'm Macedonian. Nice. It's these dudes over here. Yeah, I know barbarians are over there. Just let them be. Nothing I can do about it. I'm fighting a civil war right now. Sorry. I guess if I really wanted to, I could send like one army over. It's just annoying. I just don't even want to deal with them. All right, come on, just siege this. It's annoying. He's getting all this land. I wonder if. So what does he got down here? 20,000 guys. I've got 23, about 30,000. God, I need more manpower, don't I? Should I hire this guy? Eight a month. I make enough money. Let's do it. Let's bring this guy into the fold. Then we'll just occupy all this stuff down here, just so that they don't have anywhere to run to. And then he can probably swing back up north and deal with him. I'll probably use him for the rebels later. Or the barbarians. Actually, you know what? I have enough money now to pay them off, probably. Let's just do that. And then this guy's doing his own thing too. I'm not paying him more than like 40 or 60. Yeah, you know what? 68. I'll meet him in the middle there. Make these dudes leave me alone. Just don't have to worry about that. Chat's quiet. Why are we chatting, huh? I want to chat with you guys. Oh, yeah, Civil War. We need a guy in charge of the Navy. I'm like 
scared to put a guy in charge of the Navy, though, because of what's going on right now. Although, them, even if the Civil the Navy was on the other side of the Civil War, I feel like I wouldn't be too worried. Hey, did I get this? No, I didn't. Just playing it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Yeah, let's get some of that money, man. So we've got government. We don't really have... I know in, in Rome they have like a Senate, and it's there's um factions. This one, it's all based off legitimacy, and it seems like the higher the legitimacy, the less chance... People are gonna freak out at you when they when they when you switch over, and it looks like for sure Berenice, which is the my daughter, is going to be the next ruler. It looks like. Oh, I can flip this. I kind of like this one. I wish it was a male, because I feel like, and actually I don't know. I I really don't care, but I I know in Crusader Kings two, there's there's like not positive things like as an example i don't think females can lead armies in this game and it's nice being able to have your leader rule an army because that way it will never turn on you you know what i mean maybe we should just switch that what's this a slave draft huh we don't mess with that too much national freedom and happiness oh but we could get more in taxes that'd be cool should we do that? Professional generals. Our soldiers are drawn only from the very best. The sons of our most renowned families strive to protect our nation. Which does what? Oh, so you can boost your manpower in here. Monthly wage. So maybe we'll do that one. Hmm, that seems cool. Multitasking is tough. <laughs> That's right. You know what? Let's do agnatic... Primogenitur. What's this? Oh, this is what we want. Agnatic Cognatic Primogenitur. Which is where... When I die, it will go to... It will go to my son, but if I have no son, then it goes to a female. That That's what we want. Can I put a governor in charge of here now? I can put this guy in. Ooh, our allies coming in to help too. Look at this guy's marching down. I wonder where they're going. Are they going down to deal with this? They're probably all mad that I'm what, what, taking all their stuff back. I hope so, those losers. They're making me mad, man. They shouldn't have been messing with me like that. Local manpower, local civilization level. Let's do that. We need some more money. So let's build some stuff in here. And what do we have here? Oratory power is decent. You know what? Let's do it. We have a lot of oratory power. What we need to be doing is converting pops. We want to convert them, yes, to Hellenic, which is like the Greek pantheon. Like Zeus and all, the, all that good stuff. We want to make them my religion. Because right now, Kemetic is what they are, which is like the Egyptian thing. And Hellenic is what I'd like to convert them to. We want to we want to make them as Greek as we can, is the idea. They're, they're really Egyptian right now. We want to make them more Macedonian. Because that's what my ruler is. And that's what like a lot of bonuses happen as. Because the Greeks are the ones that kind of took it over under Alexander the Great. Which is why our capital is... Alexandria. It's beautiful. Okay, come on. Just take this over so we can end this civil war and we can get back onto the conquest. Oh man, our supply limit's huge here. We can probably move all these guys in. Really siege it down. It's a tough place. How's this guy doing on here? I keep forgetting about him, and I probably shouldn't because he's going to be a key, I think. Can I cut? No, he's a mercenary, so I can't even cut his army in half. Split him up. Soon these guys will be done in a hundred days. 
I want to see what the increase in income is here. So taxes is 17, commerce is about 11. Let's see if we can boost that up with this. Let the looting be gentle. Oh, did we get it? City of Babylon? It's gotta be a different one, right? <laughs> okay, okay, so now these are auto-sieging a little bit. We gotta deal with this dude way down. Oh, he has a fort. How annoying is that, huh? Yeah, let's go down here. Let's get him. That's annoying. We're gonna have to wipe out that army. I think that's gonna be our best bet. He has another one down here, though. This is kind of a gross civil war. The tricky thing with Egypt is Egypt is so huge um, compared to a lot of other countries, and it's it's really hard to move through because it's just a long walk from south to north and then from like east to west as well. That's kind of why I was building my navy, so I can move guys back and forth. I have one too many ships. I don't know why I built an extra ship. Uh, yes. Um... So when he's moving across like this, and all they have to do is hold one fort, and then you block the path, and I have to sit there and siege it down, and he can take everything else. It's really hard. Move across, so 17.41 in 10 days. A son has been born, huh? What's his name? Ooh. His name is Ptolemy Lagged? So what's his name? Simple as that, huh? They basically just got rid of his middle, <laughs> middle name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. Uh oh, uh oh, pause. Uh. Oh, what is this now? We're at war, huh? Against this dude? Look at him. Yeah, what do they want, I wonder? They want Philistia, which is where? That's the only thing in this game. I don't really know where stuff is. They want this, huh? They want Palestine. It's kind of what they're looking at. Hmm. How many guys have they got? A lot. How many guys have I got? Probably not even close to as many. No, not really. And I'm fighting a civil war, too. They knew, man. They knew. They knew when to declare war on me. I guess the yoke's on me. All right. We're going to bring this army up here. And we're going to bring these guys together because we want to make sure. Oh, actually, my leader is really good general, man. Look at him. He's going to win. Now he uses for sure. Oh, perfect. Let's grab him. Move him up. Deselect. We have to desiege this. And then also we'll just siege some of this stuff too just to make sure they don't have that anymore. Man. And I'm just kind of keeping an eye up here because, well, they're occupied by barbarians. I don't know what they're thinking. They don't even have control of their own region. Someone, someone, TLDR, um, too long didn't read on this. I'm just playing a, a strategy game as Egypt here, and we're just we're just fighting a civil war. Because when I when my dude died, my half brother tried to take the throne, and I got to defend the throne. You know, is it really a throne back then? I don't know if you consider it necessarily, but I'm Ptolemy Philadelphus, lagged. My dad was Ptolemy Soter, which was one of Alexander the Great's friends. Oh, he's part of the religious faction. So there's factions, man. Where was he at? It doesn't really say, I guess. Oh, a location, Olympia. So I wonder if he was something else, because he wasn't really living here then. Hmm, interesting. Basically making a giant empire as Greek as possible. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty close. That is pretty close. I'm just trying to keep it Greek because um, the, my leader's Greek, you know? Which is maybe dumb because I'll probably have to fight a lot of Egyptians that way. But you know what? That's that's all par for the course. And I'm the green guys. I'm fighting the red guys. I'm pretty confident I'm going to win. But I just got declared war on by this big yellow guy over here. And he's kind of tough, I think. But he's fighting a different war too, I guess. He's still fighting these dudes up here. It looks like he's about to win though, but he's also got like barbarians down here. So I'm not too worried about an invasion. 
Plus, it, this is a really nasty area to march through. It's all desert. And I think the goal here for me, well, I have to protect this. Because if he holds this, he'll get to take it from me. But I really don't care too much as long as he, one, doesn't cut me off from Arabia. So I don't want him to get all of this. And I also don't want him to get to the Nile. That's, that's kind of the... Barely hear me, huh? I can I can boost the gain a little bit, but sometimes the audio gets a little distorted that way. Or maybe it's something I can flip on the um on this side, huh? Mm. Well, that's pretty high. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Okay, we need a new supply limit plus ten. Yeah, dude, that's actually something we definitely need Did that do it for everywhere I don't know no not really thank you bean <laughs> who's bean <laughs> I wonder if they have a fleet I wonder if I can like see what they're up to that'd be nice maybe I can move my fleet there and they'll be like a little spy fleet that'd be cool Ooh, unless they're fighting over here because I, I have a couple of dudes so if we go to player map mode and you're going to see my steam name here yeah Mr. Fantastic there it is um because there's me oh that's gross because I'm like the same color as the map that's dumb I needed to see my islands can I see them this way kind of I have a couple islands in here it's um yeah it's Andros which are these guys here and there's another one. Yeah, it's the bull. And Kos. And these two are like my vassals. They, so they are loyal to me. These, there's a couple islands in here that work with me. And hopefully maybe they get the brunt of it. Alright. Ptolemy. You gotta get in there and wipe out this battle. Or wipe out this dude. Like a small precious bean. Thank you, bean. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose. That's not a it's not a bad one. I support it. It's a fun, it's a fun little nickname. <laughs> Alright, we need to siege this. We've almost beaten them here. Because I'm pretty confident in my ability. Yeah, their morale is garbage. I outnumber them by like three thousand guys, and I have a really good general. And also they're sieging, so I should be able to catch them as the defender. Yep, here they go. So we're going to get in there and we are going to wipe out their army. Oh, we got 3,000 of our allies right there as well to help out. Yep, so let's get them. Yep, we have a better general, a stronger army, more morale, and a better quality army. Nice. So I'm pretty confident we'll be able to shut this down right here. And I think this is... Are we going to get some poetic justice? Because who's in charge of this army? Not... Actually, maybe this dude is the one over down here, huh? Oh, he's not. maybe not even in charge. But this is the half-brother that I'm fighting right here. Let's see where he's at. He's in Alabastronopolis. Sometimes these are really hard to find. Oh, so he's in this city. That's his capital right here. He's hiding out. Well, we're going to have to drag him out, I suppose. We'll get him. I think I get a lot of manpower, though, when I win this. Which would be nice, because then we'll, we'll just swing east. Oh, and that's a fort. They don't even have enough guys to get that fort. Man, I'm actually feeling pretty confident about this civil or this war to the east. Maybe I can get some land from him, man. Just kind of push up here a little bit just to wipe him. And this guy is what? Okay, but he's not at war with me. So I'm only at war with this dude. So what we'll do is we'll, in a second here, as soon as the civil war is done, I think when the civil war is over, you, we do get manpower because we. Oh, I'll spare his soldiers because I need his soldiers to fight in the war. I'll try to flip them over to my side because I need like 20,000 manpower to get my army back up to full strength. And if I walk in there with like 60,000 guys against the enemy, as long as. and with some money for some mercenaries, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. I'm hoping so. <laughs> no worries, Taylor. Half of these names are like great value versions of Game of Thrones characters. That's kind of funny because um, if anything, it's it's probably the reverse, right? Because these were actually real people. Like Ptolemy's, 
Ptolemy was a guy. Ptolemy Soter was um, a friend of Alexander the Great. And when Alexander the Great died, Alexander the Great is from Macedon right here. And his father went and took over all of Greece and they united it under Macedon. So this was Alexander the Great's kingdom. And Alexander the Great took over all of this. All of, he basically, he took over all of this right here. Macedon, Phrygia, Egypt, the Seleucids, Bactria. That was Alexander the Great's empire. That's how big it was. And when he died at the age of like 32, I think, he left, he didn't leave a successor. So he didn't have name someone to take over his, his huge empire. And all of his generals ended up splitting up the empire. So like one general got the Seleucid Empire, one got Bactria, one got Phrygia, one got Macedon, and one got Egypt. And one of his, um, one person that he grew up with was, I play some Minecraft, um, one person that he grew up with was Ptolemy. And Ptolemy was uh, my character's dad, father, which is Ptolemy Soter Legend. And he um, got Egypt. And that's why Egypt back then, and like in Ptolemy, Cleopatra is actually a descendant of Ptolemy. We're like 150 years or so before Cleopatra, but she's a descendant of this guy down this line. And that's why like Cleopatra was Greek. She was she was Macedonian and they're Hellenists. So they're like they believe they don't believe in like the Egyptian gods. They believe in like Zeus and everything and they're they're Greek. My guy's Greek and he's in charge of Egypt. And that's why it's kind of weird because Egyptians are, have their own culture and everything. So I kind of have to be careful and I need to make sure that I'm taking stuff over well and converting it to me. Like here, I need to make sure that these guys are all flipped over to my side. We want these guys to all be, we want them to be Hellenic, which is like, that's the Greek pantheon, which is, um, they believe in Zeus. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's historically accurate in the beginning, as gamey as they can get, right? Because like, a lot of these guys are, yeah, we're real people, like Philadelphus um, was, was a real guy and everything. But past this point, it's all generated. So, like, because it can't really follow it super accurately. Because I get to choose who he marries. So, um, so like, his kids don't, like, aren't legitimately who was actually born. But, yeah, I, I and that's, like, a thing that happened. Yeah, because I'm fighting a half-brother. That's why he's not the heir. So, that's why we're fighting the Civil War. But um, it is really looking like I'm going to win here, the Civil War. And this guy hasn't really brought many guys. They can't even siege back their barbarians. Ooh, where was that? Oh, we captured one of his generals as well. Nice. So I think we just wiped out his army in the north. Which is good. Yeah, no worries, Megan. No worries. Ooh, let's see what we got here. Let the looting be gentle. I don't want to loot a ton because it's it's still all my land, and I'd rather not kill my own people looting him. Because I'm gonna need them here. I just need to finish this civil war off as quick as possible because I'm getting invaded. I gotta be I gotta be vigilant. They're not bringing much armies though against me though, so that's good. Okay, so I wonder if we can beat this guy. Well, let's see. We have a better quality army and a better general, but they have better terrain. Well, let's hope. Here's the hoping. Okay, so that's going to happen there. That's their last army. Even if I lose, I'm not too worried there because those are just mercenaries that are fighting for me down there. That's just an army that I hired. Um, so if they get destroyed, I'm not too worried about it. And it looks like, yeah, they're going to lose. Which is fine. Where are they going, though? Okay, way over there. That's right. As long as we keep willing down their army, and then when the real armies get down there, they can um they can deal with that. Ah, oh, gross. So what do I have to do here? Oh, I just can't even... Can't even take all this land, because I have to siege that first. No worries! What is my half brother's name? He's um this guy, <laughs> Meleager Lagged. Yeah, that's kind of dumb name, isn't it? He's a poet though, huh? <laughs> okay, let's see. So we're gonna take over this, and then there's like one more piece, and then I should probably just get this guy over in the east just to be sh careful. 
I wonder if I could get in there and just knock out his his 5k right there. He has no manpower left. That's good. So we're kind of in the same boat, actually. Our armies are similar sizes. And, but I have to, I'm have i going to defend. So I feel like I should get a little bit of an advantage. Where'd my army go? They were hiding somewhere, weren't they? Oh, there they are. Still running away. Cowards. Man, that would have been kind of nice if they would have actually just won. What's out of balance here? Can we? I don't. I wish it told me what what's out of balance. It's got to be this. Oh, I lost a trade route. Precious metals. Um, why? Because I feel like I shouldn't have, unless did they take something from me? Oh, because they're actually starting to march soldiers in. Is that right? Or no, he's still in his own land. Weird. Okay, so what do we need? We need. We need leather. Let's do it. Let's, see, let's get a bunch of leather because it looks like that helps light infantry. And I have a lot of light infantry because they do not take as much attrition. And that's super important when you're fighting against in Egypt because it's a lot of desert. And soldiers die quick in the desert. It's gross. So these must be auto sieging back or no? I think we'll send these two armies down south to link up with that mercenary army just to wipe out that final mercenary or that final guy. One, two, three. Um, why do I only have three armies? I had a fourth army. That's gone now. Oh, he flipped. That's right. He flipped on me when the Civil War happened. <laughs> the Civil War would have been over so much quicker if that wouldn't have happened. For, if you weren't there to see it, I had a when the time it kind of tells you. I knew that my half brother was going to revolt, and he had an army that was like right here, and so I had another army right next to him that was going to shut it down as soon as he revolted. But but that army flipped against me as well. So then he had two armies, and all my armies were far away. So he got this. That's how he got all this land away from me. He sieged it all. But uh, we're going to beat him now. And we're going to take this guy. We're going to take the Alexander's Chosen Army. And we're going to bring him up to the northeast. And we're going to take Ptolemy's Chosen as well. And we're going to bring them up to the northeast. And we're going to get ready to fight. Ooh. They have an army there. Get out of there. Ships. Are they going to kill my navy? I was just spying on them. That's all. Whatever. That's okay. The only reason I really built a navy was to deal with some pirates, but the pirates are gone now, so that's good. All right, what do we got? Let's march it across. You know what? Yeah, next up to the incest only challenge. It's funny that you even say that because I think yeah, my dude's wife is actually his sister. That's um, that is a thing in this game. Ooh, I can make this guy fight somebody as a gladiator. Should we do it? Ooh. That was quick. He died. So they've got like 15,000 guys that they're ready to whip at me here. And I am bringing how many? 8,000. 10,000. Um, yeah, a pretty similar number. <laughs> yeah, right. It was a different time back then, man. It was allowed. That was allowed back then. <laughs> they weren't they weren't prudes. Yeah, I probably shouldn't go too deep into that <laughs> rabbit hole because it's probably not a good thing that it happens. What's this? Well, I don't care if the Admiral dies. So one last guy to flip against me, man. I've been I've been hurt before. Nice, so he's dropping his dudes off there. I need more money. I'm really gonna fight this dude because it'd be nice if I had a lot of money, because then I could just grab one of these mercenary armies of like forty thousand guys and just go to town. Do I have to occupy another fort, really? Why? I thought. 
I thought I had control of that. Unless I like almost did and then I decided to move the guy. That's probably what happened. That's unfortunate. Whatever. I wonder if I just win if I just beat his last army though. Seems like I should maybe be the case. They'd surrender. <laughs> okay, we'll siege this. I have like no guys. I need twenty thousand. I didn't. Need, I need to win this war here because. Oh, I did not win the Olympics. Because. Oh, he is actually in my land, but he doesn't have enough guys to siege, huh? If I do this quick, yeah, they're backing off. Good. Cause I got Ptolemy in there, man. He's a good. He's a really good general. I've noticed. Yeah, he's got great skill. The only get better is this Zenid guy. I don't really know who that is. Ptolemy's got way more prominence, so way more popular. He's super loyal. Nice. That's good stuff. I got my fleet here, which we should probably bring back to Alexandria. gross part down here I just don't even like fighting in the south of Egypt necessarily I it's it's a nice thing to conquer as quickly as you can because it fighting there is a chore because of how much attrition happens and look he just keeps running away from me while I have to keep sieging down stuff after him it's annoying and we'll get this siege here Oh, I need to hire this guy. I need like 600 gold. 400 gold, maybe, for a smaller one. What happens if I walk in? Are they going to stop me? They probably will. I don't want to get... Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly right. Okay, darn it. I was not thinking. If they have a better commander and they have more morale. What if I try to get peace? I'm not giving them that. Yeah, instantly they're nasty. Yeah, I gotta get out of there. Get out of there, Ptolemy. Hmm. I need that I need another army up here. I don't have enough guys. There ain't enough guys in Egypt to deal with it. I just gotta deal with this stupid nonsense you know what let's just get his army let's just march on his army wipe him out and then we'll swing back up north and get him what do you guys have all going on today huh what do you guys think i should make for lunch i think that's the real question actually you know what maybe more dinner dinner i suppose i'm kind of thinking what do you guys think I have some ham. I, I was thinking about making like a little steak sandwich kind of a thing, you know? Just like a thin steak. I have some round steak in the fridge and I could cook that up. Put it on like a bun with, um, I don't know, some, some other stuff. Seems like it'd be yummy. Maybe some fries on the side. Oh, and an egg. An egg cooked on top of it. Over easy, of course. So that the yolk pops. That's the only way you can cook an egg, I think. It's, well, except for scrambled sometimes in omelets. So that's the only exceptions. But only scrambled sometimes, like if it's like a bake kind of a thing. You know, <laughs> what am I talking about? If you have a taco time nearby, get some. What's a taco time? I don't think I'm familiar with that. I'm not sure what that is. We have like a Taco John's and a Taco Bell, but um, I don't know. I'm not a, like a big, I'm not a huge taco taco guy. I would I'd rather go make some tacos and then I can put whatever I want in them. I go get some like black olives maybe and some meat and uh, shells and stuff. But then I'd get like some, maybe a can of pinto beans. That could be good. It seems yummy. They're going to chase my army down, aren't they? They're going to force me out of here. As long as they don't siege, I don't care. God. This is going to be tricky. It's going to take forever to bring my army back. If 
Frank Tufano had a video on how to cook to a good steak. What did, what does he do? What do you like? What makes it like he just marinates it better or what do you think? Yeah, I know my army's defeated. Those are guys I kind of needed. I'm getting a little worried. That's super, but I mean, really, I'm not actually too worried at all because as soon as this happens, I'm probably just going to disband these mercenaries down here, which will cost about a hundred gold. And I should be able to hire a new one pretty quick up here with maybe like 40,000 guys and then we'll just throw them out. Take a little of their land too. You know the drill. Those guys are still weak and then I can just swing right down south. I feel like some people have like really interesting ways that they'll like marinate it and everything. So that's pretty cool. Oh, here we go, here we go. Get in there and beat them. Catch them. I another son. What's his name? Diagonus. <laughs> Great value Game of Thrones name. That's really funny. Um. So, okay. So, what is it? It's a really good taco place that originated in Washington State. We're in front. They have good stuff. Fresher and healthier than Taco Bell or Del Taco. I know. I've never been to Del Taco either. Oh, shoot. That's kind of cool. He was like a master chef. That's cool. That's pretty interesting. All right. We got to siege this land. Hmm. Frank Tufano. I'll check it out. I'm always in the mood to, to try new things and, and cook a little, you know? So what's this guy doing here? Is he going to fight me? Can we just wipe him out or what? Oh, nice. And then this is occupied. But then there's like another fort, of course. What's this now? So there's a wealthy patron. Mm, let's get some more slaves. Thank you. I'll check it out. Oh, well, now they're actually sieging it. So what do they got here? They have like. 25,000 guys? Can I match that? That's the real question. If my entire army was there, could I even match it? <laughs> Not even really, man. I'd have like 22,000. That's okay, though, because these guys... Yeah, that's a, that's a good army. But where's my mercenary army? Here. These guys. Um, you know what? Let's just disband them now. So we have time to gather some money. And we need like 400 gold for that guy in order for a big army. 24,000, what do we need here? Like 300 gold? We just have to wait a little bit and then we'll be able to grab one of these mercenary armies. We'll link them up with this guy. And hopefully we'll be able to win the Civil War soon too. So we'll get that. There. When I win the Civil War, it lets me either spare his soldiers or kill his soldiers that were loyal to him. And I would rather have them fight with me. I need them to fight off these dudes in the east. So that's gonna be important. Where's this guy going? It's such a weak army. This guy should be able to beat him by himself, I'm hoping. So this guy might just have to hang out in the south for a while. And this guy, I can't believe I had to siege this it's like step by step, that's annoying. I wonder if I split the army in half. And I occupy different things. Oh, I can't even do that because it's in the zone of control. That's annoying. That's an annoying civil war there. The tricky thing too is if they get this, they can force me to give it up. If they hold it for a certain amount of time. I'm hoping that they get cocky though. Because if I get there quick, if they get cocky, even if they try to force me, a lot of times they'll they won't enforce it, and then when I get there they can't enforce it because then they they have to right they have to have it uncontested, and I'll be in there to contest it. Ooh, roast beef and French dips. That's awesome. I don't need cheese really. I do like au jus sauce. I I love au jus. Au jus. Ooh. Come on now, just take over that place. Alexander's chosen. I wish I could control my allies and tell them what to do because they're kind of 
being unhelpful. They're just walking around. Whereas if I could pair them up with me, we could probably beat them. Where's this guy going? I wonder if there's a way to prioritize where men go, because I'd rather them go to this army when I get new manpower. Because this is the one that's going to be fighting these dudes up here. And we'll just keep making money. Too bad there's not a way just to take a loan. That'd be nice. Take over. Take over. Let's do it. Did you have a cool Easter, Taylor? I had a pretty no, right, Easter. I just hung out with the family. It was a good time. We weren't going to do anything, and then we just decided to hang, and that was fun. It's a neat old time. Hope don't want to spend any money. I am Basilius. It's got to be a Greek thing, because I think when Rome takes over the Eastern Roman Empire area, that's usually what they call I think when they collapse, they call themselves Basilius, because I think they're more Greek than anything else, as opposed to Roman. This stupid guy. It's This is, this is such an annoying war. I wish it was just over. How much money do I make? 17? If I hired this guy, how much is his maintenance? 13? I need a bigger army than that though. I don't wanna I don't wanna go in there and match his numbers. I wanna go in there and overwhelmingly have more guys than him. That's the goal. And just throw him right out. That'd be the way to do it. Smoke a bit, huh? S tobacco, of course, right? <laughs> No, fair enough. That's, that's, that's so fun in its own way, as long as you're hanging out with somebody, you know? That's cool. I support that. Unbelievable. So he took Gaza. Can he enforce peace? No. I can't even really sue for peace. War enthusiasm is low. Mine is very high. That's cool. I got a lot of wins under my belt here, I see. What we got? What we got? They lost 30,000 guys, I've lost 12,000. That's good. The numbers look good. Well, I've definitely lost more guys here, though. I've lost every battle I've fought against these guys, which is annoying. He has so many guys that are on his team. He has, like, a lot of people that are, he's, like, an overlord over, I think, which is a lot of Greece. All these little islands that I'd rather not deal with, which means that, oh, I wonder if... Yeah, so all my allies are getting occupied. That's kind of sucks for them, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, of course. No, it was it was pretty fun. It was a good time. We had some uh, burgers and some brats. I'm a brat. I'm a brat fan. I like brats. Bratwurst and some sauerkraut on them. Oof, man, you can't really get better than that, you know. It's just a good meal. Who's gonna win this here? Look at him. He's running. Coward. Ooh, I needed this. Some manpower. I wonder if there's a way to um. Hmm. Like, if I go to the government laws, I think there was a thing where martial education gives me manpower plus 10%, but national citizen happiness is lower. No contract laws. National commerce. Public notaries. Tiered bureaucracy. This seems like a thing. Let's do that. Make a little more cash. And we'll have to wait until we can do more. But we're getting a lot of money here, so we should be able to get um, a bigger army soon. Like, maybe I can grab, is there a 24,000? There is. Oh, I can hire him right now. 17 per month? How much am I making? You know what? It's time. It's time. Let's bring the mercenaries over. Who's fighting here? Egypt and barbarians? Get lost. Okay. Sweet, we'll march over here. Um, and we're going to have to go east 
look at see yeah this is what i was kind of hoping for um they're gonna start marching through these deserts and these deserts are really hard to march through the longer guys should die in the deserts through attrition and then yeah they're gonna try to take that there too so we'll just have to go wipe them out and this dude i do not have time for these barbarians just pay them pay them and tell them to get lost that's all you can really do sometimes all right beat them beat them here let's end this war I maybe should have left more guys down here this is kind of a close one but then I wouldn't have been able to get the 24,000 in the north you know yin yang you win some you lose some one thing though when I went to pick up some bud there's the owner's fat butt rabbit in the dispensary just chilling I wish I had pictures Oh, there you go. Where you at? So you must have like a dispensary thing. So what, like Colorado, California or something? Or what's the what's the deal there? That's kind of cool. Do I have to keep sieging down these places? Is that what's going on here? What if I do this? What if I really just cut these armies in half a bunch of times? Oh, but he doesn't want to give up his dudes. Fine, whatever. So what if I do like... Uh, just go across and just siege that sucker and this guy here nice man we're getting some soldiers we'll kill this guy down here man his army keeps surviving no I'm not outside the United States I'm uh, I'm in Wisconsin there's no there's no dispensaries or anything like that here that's not really a thing it's not really a thing at all it's not legal I think in the, they just had a thing where they just oh did we do it maybe I just needed to kill that army maybe I was wasting a ton of time huh here we go see now we're gonna get 10,000 guys mm hmm beautiful man our army's here let's bring all these suckers up now awesome so and we'll reunite these armies now we just have to worry about this guy over here. So we just won the Civil War. We defeated my, my half-brother. How old am I now? 24. Is he dead? He is. He was crucified in agony. Oof. <laughs> That'll do it. My sister did too, huh? I wonder if she was part of the same thing, though. Yep, rip, dude. R.I.P. So we'll unite these armies. And then this guy will also come up north. Oh, man. They picked on the wrong Egypt. These guys did. They're going down now. We're going to take that fort, and this guy's going to go over here. And he's going to get ready to knock him out. Now, it says that they have, let's see. So they says that they have 61 cohorts. So they have 61 units. They're out of manpower, kind of similar to me there. Um... So how many guys have they got here? Four, eight, so 16, 12, 16 and 12. So what's 16 plus 12, 18, uh, 28. So like 30 for rounding. So about half of their army is right here. So and it's 20,000 guys. Um, how many does it say I have? 69, so and there we go. So I'm, I'm thinking I'll be able to beat them here. So we'll just swing this 24 right around. We'll wipe him out. What's nice is because he has no manpower, he's going to have to... Uh, he either has to get mercenaries, which is going to drive him into debt, or surrender. Because if I wipe out half of his army here, he'll only have about 30 cohorts left, and those are probably weak as well. Because he was just in a huge war. Yeah. Um, unless he's swinging back down. Um, but if we wipe them out, if we wipe out these armies right here, it'll be a huge blow to their army because they, he doesn't have the men in his country to replenish his armies. That's the problem. Otherwise he's, this would be like a 30,000 guys, but it's more like, uh, like this, this should be like a 16,000 army and this one should be a 12,000 army, but they're, they're in the desert. So their guys are dying. But when I go down through here, if I am able to wipe out the army, then he's going to lose all those guys. 
so I really want to cut them off and I should bring this 10,000 here I should move those guys here and then I think I should have another army right yep and he can go here and that way this army won't be able to get well actually he will he'll get out through here Maybe that's what he's trying to do so if I go here and block him I'm kind of trying to box in this army here because I don't want this army it looks like he's trying to do it too I don't want him to try to run through back into his country I really am not in the mood to deal with them later Oh, they're fighting me. Can I get up there and help? Quick. Oh, they're gonna beat me. Aren't they? Come on, no. Get out of there. And you get there to back him up in case he gets chased. All right, and he needs to go into here. So, what have we got? Yeah, here he comes. Can we block him here? Yeah, we can. We definitely can. He's not getting too far in. And this guy's coming in here, so we're getting a bunch of reinforcements in. That should help us out. I'm gonna send these 10,000 over here. Yeah, I still wipe out that army, huh? We'll re-siege this. Yeah, that's what I thought, dude. Get lost, nerd. Oh, shoot. He can't even siege that, can he? Too weak. Not enough dudes. Oh, come on. No, I look away for two seconds. Oh, that's frustrating. And I think he stack wiped it, too. So that whole army is just gone. I wonder if nice let's kick the other dude out of his army oh that's frustrating and they're gonna run out because I don't think I can chase him in unless I take out that fort hmm. you know what I'll do I'll march him here I'll march him here so we'll take the fort and I'll march the mercenaries in to see if I can move into this country. Where do we get defeated? We're getting defeated everywhere. Maybe their armies are just better than ours, huh? This isn't a war that I want to be in right now. I don't like fighting this guy. He's too tough. I like fighting weak guys so I can win. <laughs> How do you keep such good posture while playing on the PC? I swear when I see The Sims... I end up with scoliosis every time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just it's uncomfortable sometimes to hunch forward, though, right? I don't know. Sometimes I I, think I was probably a little more hunched forward a little bit ago, but now I'm like a little more relaxed. Get in there. Let's see. He's gonna be there until 23rd. He's gonna be on the 22nd. We're gonna catch him by one day, and hopefully we'll win this battle. No, we didn't get him. What the heck? That's kind of lame. Pause. Uh, shoot. I'm scared we're not going to win that battle. We might. We might. We will. Nice. That's what needed to happen right there. Perfect. So he lost. We killed like 10,000 guys of his. Which means... Yeah, his army is going to be broken there now. Now I don't have to worry about that. You have to worry a little bit about this guy right here, but I'm not even too worried about that one. I'll let this army come up here, and then I think I'll just focus on throwing him out of my land. Or I'll, I'll throw him out of here, because then this army can just do whatever it wants. I don't really care. As long as it doesn't come up here to steal my people. Laughs and cries and chronic pain. Can't relate. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, support Macedonian interests. That's what we need to do. We're Macedonian, you guys. We're not Egyptian. We're Macedonian. We're Greeks. Oratory advances. Level 2. Nice. That's cool. And I have the... Oh, I have enough stuff there. 
and I need to keep, I keep kind of forgetting to do this. I need to keep converting people to my religion. I'm trying to do it across the Nile. It seems like that's the important area. There's 10 Hellenic. We're getting there. The Nile's like really heavily populated. That's what makes Egypt so powerful is um, it like literally Egypt's kind of weak except for this area right here. That's the thing because this area just has a ton of people and you can even kind of see because if you look at like the provincial map mode, if you look down here, you're like, oh, there's there's 17 people here. There's 56 here. There's 17, 25, all these numbers. Um, but then when you end the Nile, you're jumping into the hundreds and that's what makes it really powerful. So that's that's kind of the center of Egypt's power in here. And when enemy soldiers come in and, and siege stuff, they can ship your people away as slaves and they'll kill your pops, your population. You don't want that. You do not want that. I think when the war goal is uncontested, which which is going to happen when I take this over, I'll be able to force them into peace because they won't have they won't have done anything. But you know what? They're weak enough to where maybe I'll get cocky and maybe I'll just keep moving up. Like, where's their their fort? That's the real question. Way up here. Do I really want to send this guy so far away from home, though? Hmm. Interesting. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I also made a ham. I got a ham in the, in the fridge, man. Oh, that was a really good ham. There's a sale on them at the old grocery store because it was after Easter, and oof. It just turned out really well. I was really happy with it. As long as they don't bring a huge army here, they won't kill me. But if I take this, I wonder if it'll let me siege this. I'd like to take one province or so from them because... No. Oops. Because if I do that, then I will have a buffer, you know? Because I don't really want to expand too much in the east over here. Like, I'd like to, to take this here, this area would actually be the nice one. And then it'd be cool if they were cut off as well. So maybe, or even if I could go up to here, that would be ideal. Because I don't want them to be able to go through here even. Because that's, I'm going to own this. Or I'm planning on owning that. That's going to be the next war is these guys. Which tend to be pretty weak. Or and pretty strong, I'm sorry. But they don't have an alliance. And I've been meaning to invade them for a long time. But I got dragged into a civil war. And I'm fighting these dudes. And these dudes declared war on me. I did not declare war on them. The war goal is not really being contested, but if you say so. All right, so what is this region? It's um, Akalon, which is here. So if I move into here, how are we doing here, dude? Go in here and unseage some stuff. Do I have another army somewhere? I don't really. <laughs> They really got my army good, man. They they stack wiped me is what that's called. And they, they caught my army when it was super weak and they hit it so hard that the army just kind of shattered. Yeah, back on the subject of steak. I love food too, man. I sous vide my steak rare. Saute, maybe? Um, 125 degrees internal, then grilled it just for the crust and it was so amazing. Even was good cold on my salad later. Yeah, steak's a, an interesting one that way. I, it is cool because like... There's a bunch of different ways you can cook it, cause you, I mean, you're kind of fine if you um, if you undercook it, you know. Demand of surrender. These stupid barbarians is what's annoying. That's the ones I don't want to deal with. And they they happen a lot in Egypt because they people really don't like that I'm not Egyptian. I, I just like to pay them off. I wonder if that makes it worse though. I wonder if that emboldens them. Hope not. Hope I'm not making a mistake. No. Alright, now can I get this land? Right? They do not like that. Why? Minus 10, war balance. They're making gains. Yeah, whatever. So if I take this, what about this one? Philateria, which is where? Philateria. Where is that? Where's Philateria? 
I need to occupy something like that though. Um, so how is that spelled? Filteria. Here. Okay. I'll just send this guy in then. There we go. We'll take that. That'll let me occupy there. Then making gains, whatever. Because they have a random army down here that's just hanging out. I'll tell you who's making gains. This guy. Oh, he's he just got a big army. He must have just hired some mercenaries. So I think if I see an army. How is the war goal still being contested? It must be because he has his occupied. If I get if I see an enemy army, I'm gonna be a little worried. Because he probably just hired some mercenaries, is what's going on. As long as you don't boil your burgers too, huh? It's like what? Cooking it in water bath. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I should keep an eye out in this army here. I don't want to die. There we go. If I can just get one piece of land from these guys, I'll be happy. What's this? Ooh, demand his resignation, huh? Yeah, screw him. Get rid of him. I don't care. Let's get a new governor. One that's loyal. Loyalty is important, you see, because I'm not in the mood to fight another civil war, especially not right now. Which, speaking of, how old is my dude? 26? It's only been like two years. How long until we integrate those guys? God, we're getting thrown off track here, because I, I had a nice little path for us that was going to win here. Oh, venison. I bet you that'd be good. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're going to get ready to fight me, aren't they? Come on, 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 come on. If I beat him quick. Pause. Okay, now what? Now can I get some stuff? Oh, stop it. We'll reset. They don't even want to give me anything, do they? They don't even want white piece. They don't even want to want a clean slate piece. They really are pushing me. Okay, I guess so. I guess so. Ah, oh, jeez. He's probably going to come and try to siege me again or what? Is that what's going on? What does that mean when there's a... a Parisian? That's what that must mean, huh? Those little pillars? I didn't realize that that meant capital. Interesting. I wonder if I can beat this army here if I pair up my dudes. That's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to sm smush them. <gasps> or not. Because he's going to hit me here. And then his guys are probably going to come in for reinforcements. So I just got to pause. Come on. Sometimes it doesn't really pause for me, does it? Stop. I try to pause. Oh, geez. Did we just lose the war right there? Right then and there? We, <laughs> we might have just lost the war right then and there. Let's see if we can get some peace. Because, um... Oh, no way. I'm not giving up all that. No way. Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Any new games? Well, this is my kind of... This is my new game right here. I just got this game yesterday. It just came out yesterday. I've been pretty happy with it. Get out of here, man. Retreat. Retreat. Guys. You too. Get out of there. I just need to unseed this stuff, and I wonder if I can force them to make peace. That's what needs to happen, I think. Desperately. That's what desperately needs to happen. Okay, as long as this army ignores me, I 
I feel good about it. Because then I should just need this guy here. Then we'll just march him into here. Oh, he's skeptical, huh? That's okay. Come on, just siege quick. Just siege quick. Oh, let's enforce this white piece. So the war goal isn't contested. Oh, and he's going to come in and... July. Can I get there quick? The 21st of July. He'll get there on the 11th of July. So as long as his army holds out for like 10 days, maybe we'll be okay. Oh, it did not hold out for 10 days at all, and they stack wiped me again. No. <laughs> no worries, Bramusa. You have a good night. Good day. I probably won't be playing for too much longer because I'm definitely losing. Yeah, I have like 5,000 guys left. And they've got a lot more. Yeah, literally have 5,000 guys left. And I don't have the stuff to get more. And it's just a mercenary army too. I don't even have any guys that are loyal to me. Uh-oh. Let's see here what we can do. I should have been cocky. I should have unseeged that. But you know what? You live and learn. You live and learn. So let's see what we can do. Do we surrender? No way. I'm not giving up half of the Nile. He might just have to try to enforce peace. And I think I'll just have to keep trying to pluck away at him. I, I think I've, I I can make peace with the land that the guy originally wanted. I think I'll just try to save up as much money as I can. Because then what will happen is if he tries to get to me... If he tries to get to me, I will just grab a, like a 40,000 mercenaries. And I think if I do it right, I'll be able to just throw them right out. <laughs> yeah, bring this up. That's good stuff. I'm not ransoming this prisoner. He's kind of a joke. I wonder if Cobra Action support rebels. I've never tried supporting rebels in this game. I wonder what it does. Oh, look at this guy's like super weak. Interesting. Oh, what's this? He's bringing in more guys? Another 15,000 guys? I don't have 45,000. I don't have 60,000 guys to fight him? Whoa. I don't, have those, I don't have that kind of numbers, man. I just want peace, dog. Come on. Just take the land and let's call her good. How much does it cost to get this guy? I'm gonna need like 400 gold about, which I'm making about 30 a month. So what, like 10 months? So if I can hold up for like a year, if he doesn't get too deep in. Oh, was that a governor? Yeah. Loyal governor, and Alexander it will do. Not sure that he don't mean the things he says. Look at this, man. They are they are gonna get me, that's for sure. Does he still have an army down here as well? He does. Hmm. This is what I need. If I could just kick up a little bit more money. Let's grab one of these armies. Oh, they're killing they're fighting barbarians, so that's good. I could grab an army of mercenaries with just like forty thousand guys. And I just pick them off one by one. I could throw them out of here. Come on. What's he sieging here? Something dumb? White piece imminent? Not really. Who's looking to start a civil war? This dude? Dude, I don't have an army, so what are you doing to start a civil war with, huh? He's just mad at me, or what? Let's do one of these. Let's just make friends with the dude. See if that helps out. Ooh, 
Ooh, I probably haven't messed with these too much. And ignore, ignore, ignore. Ugh, okay. Give me a little money. Is there a way I can get my own money? Toss my own money in. Ooh, time to go to the old Olympics. I need to make him a friend of mine. So I don't have to worry about him anymore. Come on, we're close, man. Like three or four months. And we'll get in it, we'll get a good army. Come on. All right, let's go. Ooh, I can choose a power, huh? Let's do a... Uh... Hmm. National tax modifier. We do need more money. Nice. It's a friend of mine, huh? Is he still disloyal? Hope not. He's a scorn family, laughs, legal patronage. Whew. I can't give him too much money here. Because I need that money for the army. Sorry, dude, don't be greedy. We need we need all the money we can get at the moment. We're fighting some dudes here. We're fighting Gilfergia. Phrygia. I wish they would have just a civil war. That'd be nice. How old is this guy? 56? Who's his heir? Oh, he's got a bunch of heirs, doesn't he? Can we, like, do something? Let's do that. Let's inspire some disloyalty. I wonder if we can make his sons fight each other in a civil war. That'd be nice. That would help. Oh, they took Gaza. I wish they would just enforce their peace. That would be nice, because then they would, they would just get the land, which I'm okay with. Seems like that would be good. <laughs> Come on. Okay. One more month. And then, how much is this? 26? How much money do I make? Let's do it, man. Now we got an army. 37,000 guys. With no morale, I think. What is their morale? Each month, outside of combat, due to base, so with the Brotherhood. So I need to wait for this guy to get max morale, though. He needs to hit, like, 3.74. What's theirs? 3.57. Hmm. Okay. Darn it, I was, oh, that really actually pisses me off because that went from 35% all the way up higher and I was going to wait for my morale to build up because when you when you recruit mercenaries, they're not exactly ready to fight right out the gate. I mean, like they are, they can go into battle, but they're really weak. They have to kind of build up their morale. They have to get confident in themselves, I guess, and it's irritating that he got that. Yeah, they have way higher morale than me, don't they? But I'm to defend, right? Or no? You have a better general, more morale, and they have better terrain. Is that right? Gross. Because I think I think when there's a siege, they are the defender. It counts as. Come on, dude. You can do it. You can do it. What's our morale at? It's gonna be a gross fight. This one. Yeah, because see how it jumps down. This bar is already half empty. Fuck, dude. I'm gonna lose that battle. It's really frustrating because I have to sit here and wait and the morale's got got re-shattered which is super annoying and then he's gonna come in here and fight me again um I wonder if I just stay and fight him though what happens 
Yeah, he just keeps kicking me out. I'm getting mad, dude. I'm getting frustrated. How much money do I make? I still make 11. I wonder if I could get some mercenary, even more mercenaries. Just double down, you know? I could actually probably build an army pretty soon here if I just keep building up my manpower. Come on, dude. Keep going. Hide. Get to Alexandria. I don't think you can get there. What's this? <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't think so, dude. Where's my religion? Map mode. I wish I had a bang energy drink. Taylor, you keep you keep mentioning this stuff that I've never even heard of. I've never heard of bang energy drink. What even is that? I feel like I've only heard of the mainstream stuff, you know, like Monster and Rockstar. I don't think so, man, right? Is it a thing around here? Just at gas stations. What's what's the gimmick? What's the deal? Is it good? Really? I I'm not a big energy drink guy. Maybe I I'm just outside of the loop, you know. Well, they're bad for you, you know. They eat out your insides. Just joking. They all kind of taste similar. It's that I'm guessing it's the taurine or whatever. It's always on the side. It says, you know what I mean. It's gotta be whatever does it. It always just it has like that weird taste to it. It's like chemical even tasting. You scared me, Zach. I was like, woof. You're so quiet. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting my butt kicked in this war, man. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna turn out very well. <laughs> they keep wiping out my armies. These mercenaries need to... Oh, here we go. I think I'm going to win this battle, though. We're defending. I have more morale. No, I, I mean, I have more morale than I did. But they still have more than me. Come on, just kill him. Just kill him. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. This is a victory that we needed. For the Egyptian people, you know. They needed this. This is their victory. This one's good. Because if they take land from me, they're gonna shut down my my Arabian ambition. They're gonna lock me in Africa. I won't be able to fight them again. I mean, I might be able to, but I won't want to. I get 800. They're basically pre-workout energy drinks compared to Red Bull. 111 megs of caffeine. Okay, so it's a, it's a little bit better for you, sure. That's a thing. No, I, I don't know, man. I'm sure if you say that... Unbelievable. I think that I'm for sure going to lose now because this <laughs> I just got declared war on in the south. <laughs> oh no, dude. I can't fight a two front war. I can't fight a one front war. Uh-oh. I don't know if they're going to it's going to end too well for Egypt here. Oh, my ally's kind of a butthole. I came in to help them in that fight, and they left. That's son of a gun. Get in there. Come on. Yeah, then they're going to march in after all my guys are dead. There they go. It's about time. Need a new governor. Need a loyal governor. I don't 
even care about skill anymore. It's loyalty. We don't have time to, to fight a civil war. It's a dark time. All because of Fergie, otherwise we'd have been super stable. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we defeated their armies. Where are they at now? Way down here for no reason, it seems. How many guys have they got still? 60. Oh, I wonder if they went... No, he has a lot of money. So he must not... He must have gotten rid of his mercenaries, I'm thinking. Hmm. Hmm. Well... Let's see. Let's get rid of some of these dudes. Let's push them out of Egypt. We can worry about the Kush people later. There's too much attrition down there. That's the only thing. I don't have to deal with them now. It is, man. It's gross. Oh, what's this? Usually it's uh, two for four bucks, and they have keto coffee drinks with 20 mega milligrams of protein. Hmm. Okay. Get you there. I'm more of a Fago guy myself. Only certain kinds though, like the cotton candy one. Oh, dude, that's a good kind of Fago, don't you think, Zach? What's that? Fago, cotton candy flavor. Uh, no. You don't like that, huh? It's like watermelon. Is kind of what I think it tastes like. Uh, it's like a sugary watermelon. I'm not a huge like sweet guy. I get you. I more I like sodas. I like. I don't like to be thirsty, so I don't like cakes and stuff because they are really dry. So I like pies and stuff, but yeah, I get you there. Sometimes sweets are too much. It's too much. Yeah, it's kind of a sugar overload. You're like, ugh. It kind of gives me the shakes. Ugh, you know? 20 grams of protein. Oh my god, look at all this land that they want from me. Why? I'm just gonna let their guys get. I think they're talking about some a coffee thing. Keto coffee? Keto coffee drink? They ain't messing around. Nine nine three. Let's do this. Fifteen a month. I make enough money. We'll get another group of mercenaries. Oh, uh oh, dude. Now who has a bigger army? Still him by a lot. Oh shit. I'm gonna unseach some of this stuff. You know what though? I got forty thousand guys that are ready to ready to throw down. Fine, your peace. Wait, do I have him in three wars? Now oh, who's at war with me? Some revolt? Why am I at war with that dude? That's weird. Okay. For what? Oh, does that mean that they're at in a war? Nice, man. They're fighting another war. Maybe I can still win this. Let's see. These can be pretty sweet, but also a bit tart, which I like. I like it. I like tart. I like sour. They have a ton of flavors in there. They don't have sugar in it. Oh, nice. I like, like sour Skittles, man. One of my favorite kind of Skittles. That's good Skittles, I think. Just siege it. In a second here, I should be able to build a third army. Probably not gonna be able to get any more mercenaries because then I have, to, I have to save up a ton of money to get them. But a third man army would be awesome. He will get there on the 3rd of March, and he will get there on the 14th of February. Come on. Come on. 
lock him in. There we go. That catches army up right here. We're gonna get him. I'll number him two to one. With decent morale. Nice. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. That's what he says. Chappelle. Right. That's his thing. Flavor called Sour Heads. It's basically like Sour Skittles. Sour Heads are a candy, right? Isn't that a thing? Or maybe I'm thinking of Lemon Heads. Probably thinking of Lemon Heads. You know what? That is barely what I'm thinking of. Although, are you sure there isn't a candy called Lemon Heads? Now I don't know what's true and what's not. What's real? That's right, dude. That's a good movie. I like that one. here is going to be to keep my armies together. It's the only way we're coming out of this one alive. As opposed to dead. Get in there. Let's take that fort. Oh, they're like dangerously separated, these armies, but sometimes you gotta take risks, you know? Gotta risk it for that biscuit. Come on, dude. Just end the war with me, please. This is like the most back and forth war I've ever had in this game. It's crazy. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm getting them now, dude. Now they're not even, they're not nearly as confident now. They're getting less cocky. Probably because their army is like. I kind of do, man. Their army's trapped in southern Egypt. And that's a gross place. That's just a huge desert. Oh, but he just built another group of mercenaries. Last time that happened, I got overwhelmed. He's like dealing with barbarians and stuff, though. Maybe I can just do this quick. I just need to unsiege this stuff. And then I think if I hold this area <clears throat> for long enough, I can force him out of the war because he isn't enforcing his war goal. Yeah, here it is. It becomes an uncontested area. becomes uncontested, which means like he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. Like he wants this specific piece of land, but if he doesn't do anything about it in like three years, then I get to keep it, and the war just ends. So that's that's kind of my goal here, just to force him out, and then I'll swing back south, deal with Kush. Yeah, move on from there. Prepare probably for another invasion from those guys. This time be more ready for it. Come on. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they're getting ready. I see their army right there hanging out. 
I wonder if I can throw my Navy in a spy again. It seemed like it worked actually pretty well last time. Okay, here they come. Oh, and they get there in like a fucking day. Okay, let's see. Right when I get confident, man, I'm about to win. Then it just flips right back. Yeah, for real, not in a good way. They, they killed 15,000 of my guys, they lost 8,000. But you know what? I need my guys more than they need their guys. That's kind of the fucked up thing. <laughs> oh, but you know what? If they wipe out that mercenary army, that'd be kind of nice because... Oh, perfect. I think they stack wiped it. But now... How much money do I make? Now I can hire another mercenary group, and this one's going to be 40,000, guys. Good luck, scrubs, dealing with this. Nerds. Send an army to deal with me here. That fool. The train. They'll have better train, but I outnumber them. I have a better general and more morale. Nice. Come on. I better not lose this battle. Nice. What's this about? Oh, they beat my navy? You know what? That's okay. I don't care too much about my navy. I don't even want to really expand navally. I just want to live my life as Egypt. I don't even want to fight those dudes. I don't even know why they're trying to take my land. They should be focusing on their own thing. Good and tight. LOL. Y'all funny. Woo! <laughs> Tori, you goofball. <laughs> like to think so. Okay. Okay, how many guys have they got? 105 cohorts, man. That's insane. So their army could be 100,000 guys strong. The guy's sitting on a ton of money. He's got no manpower, though. But I don't have... Well, I do have manpower, but... No soldiers. I'm just kind of growing my manpower at the moment. ATM. these guys to the desert. It sucks. I lose so much to attrition. I get an army that's 44,000 guys and by the time I get there it's like 30,000. It ain't right. Skeeter, it ain't right. Were you going to see Endgame pretty soon, Zach? Yeah. Yeah. It's decent, man. It's a good movie. Crandall was there. <laughs> BRB going to the app store to find a game like this. Yeah, looking for something strategy, huh? I support that. 100%. Ah, oh, gross. What's going on here now? Come on. I outnumber them. Come on. I don't outnumber them anymore. Right. Yeah, I don't. Oh. I wonder what happens if I try to get peace now. Suggest. Yeah, dude, I ain't going to give up all of the Nile. That's kind of my empire. I lose if I give up the Nile, Zach. Don't give up the fight. I'm, tr <laughs> I'm trying, dude. It's just hard. <laughs> oh, I can bring in more mercenaries. Okay, I guess we're going into debt. That's the plan. I guess so. I guess so. I don't know if that strictly translates in this situation, but. Declare bankruptcy. You can do that in, the, in their other game. They have a game called Europa Universalis, and you can declare bankruptcy. Screws over your country for a long time, though. Oh, Article 7. Liquidate all your assets. Yeah. Your establishments. Yep. And then get a big black stain for seven years or whatever it is. Is that what it is? Seven years? Oh shit, did they just wipe out all those guys? They did. Or you file Article 13 and liquidate literally 
everything. Good luck, kid. Well, no matter no matter what you do, if you if you cancel it all out, I mean, creditors can see that in the future, right? At least for like seven years, I think you get like a black stain on your credit where they're like, oh, this dude declared bankruptcy. Um, I don't know if it's exactly the same for businesses. I guess I have no idea, but I'd assume it's got to be similar, right? Like, I can't imagine them just letting you declare bankruptcy and you're like, oh, I'm good. Unless you're doing it to restructure, I guess. That's one thing. That's, like, the big thing, right? That's the, that's the big topic because that's what Trump said he did. Hey, I'm back. What did I miss? Not a ton. Um, I think you were here for my Civil War, Megan, right? And then I got invaded by these dudes over here. I'm still fighting these dudes. And it's not looking super great. But, um, yeah, they, they really want a lot of my land. It's pretty gross. <laughs> yeah, is that right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah, okay. It seems like it could be a thing, though, right? <laughs> Confidence is a flimsy shield. You know, all right, dude. You say so. <laughs> yeah, dude, like a like a wave. You just talk a big game, kind of a thing. That'd be awesome, man. That's a good one. <laughs> you made me use five percent of my power. <laughs> That's awesome. Come on, mercenaries, get safe. What's that? He almost like killing all the Jews. I am right by Judea, and Hebrews do swing by sometimes. You massacre them? Um, usually they become slaves. That's usually what ends up happening. <laughs> it's kind of just an event that happens. It's not like I specifically choose, though. <laughs> if I create a client state with these barbarians, their army should come help me, I'm hoping. Everyone died and back. Welcome back, Taylor. That's right. <laughs> they think they can fight the mighty armies of Egypt? I don't think so. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to build another army. And this one's going to be tough, dude. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five heavy infantry. <laughs> That's right. Do I, can I build heavy cavalry? I can't. So it ain't going to be as tough as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I guess that's too bad. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to need some, what, horses? Do I not have any? I don't think I have horses in, my, in Egypt. That's the only screwy part. Or camels. <laughs> I do have camels. Nice, dude. We're gonna build a tough army. There's another fifteen thousand guys. So which which should put us at what? Seventy-three. Oh man, that'll put us right up by his army. I might be able to win this thing. On the twenty-first of April. You can do it, man. You just have to. You just have to find a place that has war elephants. They're really, it's they're, they're kind of tricky though because, yeah, like there's war elephants in, in the south of Egypt and there's war elephants in like Western Africa and also in the way east. But the tricky thing is with African elephants is they they're really hard to keep in the field because the attrition is crazy because you have to keep like a lot of money with them and stuff, and they'll die if you don't take care of them. And they're in the desert, and that's where there's a ton of attrition. So the only place they're like it gets really good for Rome, because Rome can you there's like trade routes you can set up, and Rome can set up trade routes into Rome, where there's really good supply lines, and then if they get war elephants, they're tough. But like for me, I almost I had played one game. I was thinking about getting war elephants, but the attrition is so crazy that like they're all dead by the time they get to the front. It's kind of a waste, you know. God, I'm losing battles too quick. I just need to kill these guys right here in the front. Can you basically travel and take over the entire world? 
You can, and actually, one of the things um, as this guy, because I'm, I'm a successor of Alexander, one of the there's a decision in here. It's called reunite Alexander's empire, and if you can see, it might be a little delayed for you, but if you see it, if you conquer all the way over to the east into India as one of these empires, you can reunite Alexander's empire because that's how far he went. So people do it, and people in other games too. They there's like it's hard though, man. It's like undoable. You almost have to like game the game to do it. But like Rome gets really tough. Uh, Rome's really good because Rome can just wipe out everyone over there in the west. Over here in the east, it, everyone's a little more established. It's crazy. It's a good time. We're just partying. Twentieth of May. Twenty days. He ain't gonna make it. Yeah, he wasn't. He, and I was right. He didn't make it. Okay. Losing money, but that's okay. I got a lot of money in the bank. But yeah, you can definitely take over the world. It's just not easy. Personally, I'm just trying to carve out my own little empire over here, and I'm just like, if I was done fighting these guys, that'd be really nice because they're really taking up a lot of time. And I would actually give up the land that they want, but they want um, the Nile as well. And I cannot give up the Nile because if I give up the Nile, the game's over for me. Because that's that's like my entire economy. That's like my California. <coughs> Shoot. Made me sneeze. Yeah. Sure. Really? Was it good? Yeah, it was pretty good. I guess that's pretty cool. That's like an in song right now, huh? Yeah, because of that follow thing and all that good stuff. I think. What song? Old Town Road. I'm gonna take my horse down the Old Town Road. That's a good one, huh? Nice, man. I just ended my war in the south. That's good. I just gotta worry about one guy. The Phrygia guy. Phrygia. All right, Philadelphus, you're gonna get another chance here to prove yourself as soon as these camels come in. I think camels are pretty good in this game, if I remember correctly. But I don't fully remember. Camels store water in their humps. Yep, you slice open a camel's hump, dude, drink all the water out. He did that, didn't he? That's right, dude. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure if you were if you were in a survival situation like that, I'm sure your survival instincts would kick in, and you'd be like, "Okay, you gotta do what you gotta do." But I can't imagine. You know what I mean? Like, actually, it'd be crazy, man. You'd ha you'd have to be in a pretty dr drastic situation to consider something like that. You know what I mean? I know I saw that. The kitty cat likes my voice. She keeps me meowing and pawing at the screen. Meow, she goes. That's my impression. That was pretty good. I thought it was I eat. Gonna ride till I can't no more. What's going on today, man? It's Friday. Do you work tomorrow? Yep. Shoot. Do you work the day after? Yep. Darn it, man. We should have went out. We should go out. Work in the morning and after that. Go out. Well, yeah. No, no, Zach. We'll be home by three. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh <it's missing. laughs> 
That's right. Yeah, let's see if we can wipe out their army there. Yeah, I like going on Tuesdays, man, for karaoke. Karaoke. I think that's fun. I like that. Meet some, meet some ladies. E evening, ladies. That's how you you address them. <laughs> yep. Just got him. Yeah, fresh off the boat. Hmm, okay. Win, 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 win the battle. Come on, win the battle. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Now I just have to defend. Oh, what's this now? I feel like they're offering me. They're willing to take a lot less land now. And I feel like maybe I'm getting greedy, dude. This happens every time. But now I feel like I need to push them. You know what I mean? Push these, push these, push like maybe I'm getting a little too cocky. But you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, you know? Yeah, push it, push it to the limit, limit. What is that? Is that um, High School Musical? Push it, push it to the limit, limit. Yeah. Cause we're in it, in it, in it. Which one is that? Is that head in the game? Yeah, right, man. I don't mind. I don't mind that movie. There are those are okay movies. Okay, I enjoy enjoy a good song, a good sing and dance. Yeah, great. Now we have our slave revolt. That's what I needed. Where's that? Oh, it's just weak. Okay, I don't care. They're gonna unsiege stuff actually for me as well. Nice. Back up. We just need to unseat this. Oh, nice, dude. Those fools. Now all they want is that original piece that they're asking for. But now, like, why give it to them? You know what I mean? If I'm winning. And they're gonna come in with a big army and kick my army's butt, and then I won't be winning anymore. It's usually what happens. I get too cocky. No. Siege this quick. Let's go. Come on. Did I beat him? I put down the slave revolt. That's good. You know what? I stuck it out, and look at me now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat him. Kick him out of my land. I wonder if there's a fort map mode. That'd be nice to see. Yeah, because you have to, you have to hold the forts. That's the important pieces as the forts. What's good today? Oh, there you go. 
he's he's tuckered out. He's turtled out. <clears throat> One sleepy boy. One sleepy boy. Clean the tank, huh? That's okay. <laughs> I don't know how to do a turtle noise. I'll have to try a turtle noise too, you know? I'm no expert though. I can't believe I haven't went into debt considering how many mercenaries I have. It's insane. It's good for me. <clears throat> On paper, my army should be about 30,000 guys bigger than his. That's a decent number. Right, because, well, sometimes they're not full army that's like how many units he has but sometimes a unit can be up to a thousand guys but if there's attrition so his army says it, it can be like 66,000 guys but um he might be uh you know or he might have guys that are weaker weaker armies that's all I'm really trying to say I can support pretenders how do I do that it says I can do something and it doesn't tell me at all how to do it guys does he have here 16 and 12 18 28 it is a good game doesn't even feel like i've been playing for two hours um so he's got yeah like as an example oh this might be good man because if he has 60 dudes 30 of them are in the south so his army can only really be like thirty thousand guys oh dude i've got him unless he gets a huge mercenary army but if I nip that in the bud too, I should be good. <coughs> this guy's going down. He overextended himself. That's how it goes. Driscoll. It is a pretty good game, man. Arthur. One more take. The Oracle isn't really being contested, though, is it? Where is this? Philista? So if I take, if I free this and this, I bet you I can almost enforce peace. I should just, as long as I hold on to those, then I think I'll win. Here he comes with an army. Nice. That nerd. Where is he going? Bethar? Oh, I can't move in there. Shoot. That's kind of tricky. He's doing like a Vietnam thing, man. He can move around through his land, but I can't move through. That ain't cool. That ain't right. Skeeter? Mm -hmm. How many guys is that? 18, 21? This is like the rest of his army right there. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I can get access to these guys. Access actions. He will not give me military access, probably because he is allied with them. Let's 
So you're like downloading this game right now, Zach, so you can come play or what? Oh no. <laughs> wow, dude. It, you kind of made it sound like you were, is all. Oh. <laughs> well, well, I wasn't, so. <laughs> so you're bad. Man, this is like the most intense war I've ever had to fight in this game. I really thought I was going to lose. And now I'm pretty confident I'm going to win. Get out of here. Oh, and I have another army in the west. Nice. Bring them in. Bring them into the old fold. Nothing wrong with a little extra backup. After what I've been through with these dudes. No peace. Unconditional surrender. So... I just have to hold it for 500 days. <laughs> and then I can force them out of the war unless I make a separate peace with them. Gross. Where the heck is their fort? Why is Onion Boy so edgy? I know you've done two videos in a row on him, but I still don't know why he's so emo. Yeah, I don't know either, man. I think he's my favorite guy to do videos on, though, because he is just something else, that guy. It cracks me up in a way. I just don't understand how the, what makes the dude tick, you know? Why am I going to lose this? He has a better commander than me. He has a way better commander than me. This mercenary sucks. But I'll number him two to one. Come on, let's get real here. It's like what's left of his army. Let's kill it. There we go. We're gonna get him. Nice, dude. All right, so we got these dudes here. <coughs> We're gonna march up. We got the coughs today. We're close to white peace. <laughs> that dummy. As if I'm giving him any land. I can like make him free his people. <clears throat> Ooh, let's see here. I mean, the stuff he says could get him kill. Not saying to offend him, but I mean it's true. What do you want me to say? Yeah, the dude's a total goofball. He really is. Um, I, I don't, I don't get him. Doesn't make any sense. Where's Thebes? Isn't that in Egypt? I thought. I'm my way off. Why isn't it highlighting what this is? It's kind of frustrating. Turn a war score. Ooh, I should it'd be nice if I got to release Judea. Because then I could wipe them out. They'd be next. 
Or they'd be an ally. I'd protect them. Take them under the old wing. Actually, probably be the better way to do it because I don't really want to expand east. I just want to be. I just wanted to be left alone this game, man. That's the messed up part. They're messing with a sleeping giant. <laughs> R.I.P. Onion Ring. <laughs> yep, something like that. Now, sugar, he don't mean the things he says. Alright, let's get in there. Come on, guys, get in there. Win this battle. Get him. Get him good. You get up there, too. Come on. That's a little too close for comfort. But we got him. How many guys did I lose? 4,000, and they only lost 7,000? Ugh, dude. Can't be fighting battles like that. That's how I'm gonna lose. Dude still thinks he's getting land here, huh? One more year, and then I can force the peace if I want to. Mm hmm. He did, dude. It's a long war. My ruler is. Holds my son 13. He doesn't have the greatest skills, does he? He's a lunatic. No. That sucks. What do you do, though, huh? How many guys do you have there? 12 cohorts? Let's get them. Get him, Skeeter. <laughs> no, I I have um, Red Dead Redemption. I haven't beaten it. Um, I'm at the uh, there's I'm at like a plantation, and I'm talking to the Le Lemoines. I think they are. Is where I'm at. At least it sounds right to me as to where I am. Why can't I select this 10,000 army? Where's he at? Oh, he is sieging that, isn't he? But I had allies there, so I'm not too worried. Let me make sure we win this battle. Come on, man. I just wanna, I just wanna win this. Is that too much to ask for? Yeah, it's a good game. I have fun with it. I like the horses. My heart always breaks when I run into something and my guy flies off the horse and the horse kind of falls over. My army's getting stretched pretty thin here. I think it's about time to end this dumb war. Can I enforce white peace yet? No, I can't. 200 more days. I'm weak. <laughs> I haven't been it yet. I messed around a little with the multiplayer. and I, I enjoyed the multiplayer. It's fun. It's fun enough. Go 
those fools retreating like the fools they are. Oh, I wonder if I can get more mercenaries. No, I can't. They need like 1,400. Holy gosh. Oh, oh boy. You know? How many guys are here? These barbarians want a lot of money. Screw off. 16 cohorts. And 12. Alright, that's right. They have like 30 guys down there. I'm not too worried about them. more mercs which will be who this dude that seems probably fine I'll grab that guy and do we have another one I need like how well, much 900 gold we could do that all right well let's bring this guy over here Make sure we don't lose this war. I think no matter what, though, I'll be able to enforce peace. Now I'm, like, not super worried. No matter what, I can at least get equal or come out with what I started with. And that's good. Cancel their subject of Judea. Which is what? Where's this cost? Is it not going to tell me? God, that's kind of frustrating, isn't it? Oh, 27. Can do that. I'm, feeling, I'm hoping that'll definitively separate us. Because I don't want to fight this guy again. This is gross. this? I just flipped a general or something? Oh, nice, dude. I kind of forgot that was a thing. Well, some of his mercenaries came to me. Hey, I don't mind. I don't mind random questions, Calm. Um, so you into art or music? Or are you more of a video game person? I like art, music, and video games, man. I'm a... Jack of all trades, I suppose. No, I'm just dry. I think everyone likes stuff. I've, I like to mess around with like paintings and stuff like that too. I like to paint sometimes. Um, not very good at it though. Oh, his music's good. I like Wham. They're they're a fun band. I've been listening to them lately. Um, otherwise, uh, I think my, I, lately people have asked me what my favorite song is, and I've been trying to think of what it was, and I decided it is a song by ABC. It's called The Look of Love, man. I feel like that song has really been. It's a good song. It's a jam. It's a jam and a hoot and a holler. All right, what do we got going on here? But um, 
what's cool, dude, is uh, there's mercenaries that are on the other side as well. Fight I have mercenaries fighting for me, and they have mercenaries fighting for them. And one of their mercenary groups just came to me and was like, hey, man. Oh, because they are they're in debt, or the enemy is in debt. So they came to me, and they're like, hey, do you think you could hire us? And I, I paid to get them to flip sides. So that's cool. Pretty dope. It's good that they're in debt. It means I can wipe them out. No more mercs for them. Yeah, except for when that mercenary gets destroyed. But you know what? It's more about them losing their army than me gaining an army. That's really more of that I care about. Although they probably would have just deserted and I probably could have gotten a better army. But you know what? You live and learn. Not mine, random questions though, man. Let's have fun. 13,000 guys, mercenaries here. Oh no, this mercenary is pretty much dead. Let's get rid of that unit. This is a gross war. See what Rome looks like. It looks like Rome's doing pretty good. <coughs> They're taking over their their peninsula, the old Italian peninsula. Lake, lake. Where's Rome? It's like right here. Yeah, there it is, Rome. Yeah, Rome's tough in this game too, man. Of course, that's kind of like they're they're kind of like the people that the game is around. Roar x three pounces on you, ooh, you so warm. Hey, <laughs> what is this? Hold on, Zach, do you see this chat? Did you see? Do you see this chat? What Colm O'Driscoll just put in? It's like um, ooh, please adopt me. Ooh, roar! X three pounces on you. Ooh, you so warm. Could help to notice your great personality for across the floor. From across the floor, couldn't help. Really your, bulge, but... your yeah, they switched it out. Your bulge from across the floor. <laughs> oh man, I love that thing, dude. That thing really just gets me. It cracks me up. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, please adopt me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They're all, why am I even doing this? We're out in the neighborhood, so why couldn't everything be just this good? You know that song you know what I'm talking about? Is that what you're singing? They have a stronger army. Oh, they do. They have a lot more guys. Holy shit. Better watch out. Jellameth. What do you think? Should I just end this war now? I don't know. You know what? We fought long enough. End it. Oh, that was gross. He's in debt, though. His army's destroyed. All we have to do now, I, I'm going to support some rebels. Oh, I can't because I have a truce. That's dumb. Ugh, that was an annoying war. Well, let's see what we got going on here now. Immediately into the frying pan with a new war, maybe. Alright, where can I get these guys where there's good supply? Ugh, way over there. And this 
this one, you are going to go back to Alexandria, or the Nile, and you're going to protect that. Hold an exile army, barbarians, not worried about that. And we have mercenaries here that are going to be disbanded. Barbarians, of course, man. How much money do they want? We have peace in our time. And a truce for how long? That's my new ringtone. Him just singing the furry song. That's a funny one, man. I do like that one. That's he funny as heck. <laughs> Where is the um, truces? Truce, 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 truce. Guaranteeing truce. Here it is. That's me. 486 October, so five years, and they can declare war on me again, huh? It ain't long enough, man. I don't want to deal with them. I really am hoping that they get, like, um. all they do, they're having civil wars. That's good, because they're broke, and their army's broken as well. That's what you get, dude, for trying to invade Egypt. how it goes maybe I should have kept fighting then probably could have gotten them whatever all right now, we need, now it's the time to balance out the old realm make sure stuff's all loyal and stuff mercenaries want characters families Hmm. The maggot and the laggot of families. So the Alexandrians are mad for no reason. A lot of these families are upset because they don't have titles. But you know what? I needed a little bit of some loyalty while I was fighting. And also, we need to rebuild our fleet. There's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 ships. We'll be good. Just so we can move guys around quick and spy on people. I need to bring it back. I, I got rid of a notification thing and now it's gone for good and I don't know where, how to get it back. So Alexandrid, Automastid, Automastid. Man, this is kind of a pain to cycle through. Persid, Zenid, Narabid. I actually don't know who that YouTuber or who that person is. Um, the one they made a Minecraft tutorial. I don't know. I've only seen that the furry thing. I think I've only seen the furry thing. Only seen the furry thing. Man, we got him, huh? I showed them. What is the year? Two seventy two BCE. Seventy two years before the birth of Christ. Get this dude with his fleet 
still hanging out there. And you're like a tutorial. Oh, no. Yeah, dude, blows your mind. Sometimes I that's like whenever these get this company, whenever they make a new game and you fire it up for the first time, you're like locked in the loading screen and it's super loud. One of my friends is or a friend of his was like a Minecraft YouTuber that had like a couple million views. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I do remember making a Minecraft tutorial a long time when I was like fourteen or fifteen. That's awesome, dude. That's cool as heck. Six years ago. That's Minecraft parody of magic by Eagle B. Dude, that's cool as heck. He should make one of um Bitch Lasagna, right? That song's still in. I don't think he can make any Bitch Lasagna ones. That's a bummer, dude, especially if he had that kind of success. Don't you think? Last video he made was a month ago. Oh, that's not too long ago. He's getting back into it, maybe? Is that what it looks like? Uh, I don't think so. This bums me out sometimes, you know, and people kind of give up on it, or they just take her easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Who is he? Link, um, send me, shoot me a link in Discord. Hey, either one. I'll, I mean, I'll, if I find one, I'll find the other, right? Never thought about it that way. <laughs> Man, that was some war. That's crazy. There you go. Did you like it? Perfect. Yeah. He sang a furry song and I missed it. Dang it. <laughs> That's right. You missed it. <laughs> the furry song. Got a full fleet. It's two more ships. Well, it better be active. Fifteen. We gotta find somebody to invade. I think that's what we need to do. This guy doesn't even have any allies. Yeah, I need to take him out. Oh, they're guaranteeing them. Mm -hmm. It's time for Egypt to do a little bit of expansion. Lucid's holding together? They kind of are. <sighs> Phrygia's the gross one, man. Yeah, there goes the blackmailing material. Could have spread it all over the internet. You know what, though? I'm pretty sure you can go back and watch this. I'm pretty sure it, um... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's allowed. I think it, I think it archives this. Archives. Archives. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna move our army in. We're gonna get cocky, dude. We're gonna immediately declare war on somebody else. We gotta show the world that Egypt ain't a bitch. They can hold their own. Man, these guys are like all occupied by barbarians and stuff, huh? Parts. I'd like to take out Kush and then Alut, Alit, and Boris. And just move down and secure the south. That's where a lot of resources are. Oh, don't give me ideas. <laughs> he wants to be blackmailed, huh? I just don't think that you'll have much sway over me. I'm okay with that being out there. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it comes down to, I suppose.
Um, no, I hope he didn't die. Oh, he's just sick. Okay. I was a little worried there for a sec. <coughs> Me and Sam uh, have a really good game going on, man. That's multiplayer where he's masked out and I'm Egypt and it's just, it's just going smooth. What's your persona? <laughs> it was going to be as big as PewDiePie saying the N-word. Zach, do you remember that when he did that? Uh, we, where was he playing? PUBG? He was playing PUBG with the N-Cross. Bridge. The bridge, that's right, dude. And he just drops it. You stupid. And then he just, oh, dude. That was bad, huh? The yeah, dude, just drops it. And I think, I like it, dude, because you can tell. The look on his face, he realizes, like, in that same moment, he's like, ooh. Yeah, maybe I'm that wasn't something I should have said because he's like <laughs> He's just deep into it, man. I love that. What's your persona? Did you look at that? No, I didn't. I saw that though and I thought it was funny as heck. What's your persona? Like what animal? Is that what you do? Like a wolf. What does anyone even go as anything other than a wolf? I feel like everyone's a wolf. Right? It's like a, you're, you're, I don't know either. I'm kind of talking on my butt, but I'm trying to use context clues. And I'm thinking it's just, um, oh, it's just like what animal you'd be or something. An animal, like an animal with I guess. Like a wolf or a fox, maybe. Well, there's leopards. Maybe we'll just go porcupine then, huh? <laughs> like the folk people. He tries to laugh it off like he didn't just say the worst word. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? He's like, oh, no, no. He's all awkward about it. <laughs> oh, man. He just drops that line. That's like a, it's a, that's, that's a good icebreaker, though, huh? What's your what's your fursona, dude? Mine's a dragon. And then you you know you know the next step of the dragon joke. I bet it would be. <laughs> well let's not rule out that all of them are at least kind of awkward, you know? It's its own culture, yeah, man. I don't know. It really is. Don't... If 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 there was like four of us and we and we all as a meme decided to go to some like a con or something. Yeah, the only thing would be the meme, right? That's the only thing, right? You're right, dude. And then everyone knows. <laughs> no, dude, it's a joke. It's a joke. And the guy's like, yeah, it's a joke for me too. Winks. <laughs> No, dude, seriously. <laughs> yep. Yeah, dude. He's petting you. I like when I scratch behind your ears. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're not getting in character. That's right. God. That is so ridiculous. a cat ear and a cat tail that's all I feel like if you don't go full suit then you're not a real fan yeah uh-huh <laughs> I guess you're right <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, dude. I can't even imagine. I don't even... I, one, I don't even really want to imagine. I don't either. <laughs> God. That's your only hope. They're smart though. I bet you, they probably figured that out, dude. At the convention, they're probably there's someone cranking the heat, and they're like, "Yeah, dude, I don't think so." Nice try, trying to sneak, sneak around. So you have to come out of the suit or overheat. I wish the Suez Canal was a thing. But it isn't. When did they build the Suez Canal? In like the 1800s? Seems like a thing. It's a little before this time. A little over 2,000 years before this time. A little before my time. Yep, yep. If I just hang out in the game for like 2,000 years, dude, someone will build it. The French will come in and build it. Surprise! Yeah, you run into someone at a furry convention. You know what, though? If you were actually a furry and you found out someone that you knew was a furry at one of those things, you'd probably think it was pretty cool. You're... You're one of me, or I'm one of you, or whatever. That's like what would happen, right? Or is it a sex thing? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know enough about the culture. That's right. I'm out of the loop. Yep. It seems like a tricky thing to research. It's probably not even super easy to come up with. And you know what? I'm sure a piece of it is sexual. You know, that's the, that's the thing. But does that mean that the majority of it is sexual? Who knows? Big yawn. You tired? I'm never tired, man. I'm a working man. That's all I ever do. Plug away. <laughs> Why? That doesn't seem like, I guess, in the same, but like, if it's anything that's like that, like, what do you, like, what do you expect as a treatment, you know, I think. Like, people aren't supposed to just, like, bow to it, you know what I mean? Like, what's the thing? <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> All right. On CSI, there was a furry episode, and they said it stems from the desire to be lovable, like a stuffed animal. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so, dude. A stuffed animal. And, like, the episode of CFI, or CSI, every time they say stuffed, dude, they, like, wink at the camera. Like it's a joke. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, all right. A sexy underwear party, huh? With furries. I can't imagine it's it's full of people that are. Ex Super attractive, right? I mean, I'm sure there's some attractive ones. Some. I mean, there's gotta be statistically there has to be. Percentage wise, what do you think it is? You think so? I can. You know what? I guess maybe. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right there because there's some there's some chicks that aren't like bad looking that are kind of what kind of goofy, you know. That's mean, but I don't know. I don't think that. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, all right, dude. One article. Not that remarkable. Lesson learned. What's it like to have sex with a furry in the New York Post? New York Post, huh? Hard hitting journalism at its finest. Much. <laughs> what the heck, dude? <laughs> Much. That seems like it'd be uncomfortable, I think. You're right, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I get you there. You're just, all right, man, move it along. This is turning into a free bashing session. Come on. It's so much nicer when I'm fighting enemies that are like 10 times weaker than me. Yeah, I guess it's like I suppose that is probably hard to narrow down because for some people it's probably not sexual at all. Some people find this fun. Right. They think it's, fun. it's like a role play thing. Be very fun, but yeah. I, I guess translated to a different area, it's like cosplaying in a way. It is. You know, and I could, I guess I could see where that could be enjoyable if you're going as characters that you like. I just don't. Cosplay is more so definitely as characters. Like yeah. Son says, I wonder how hot it can get in that suit. Like, how do they clean it? Do they even clean it? Mysteries. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question, though. <laughs> Are they washable? Yeah, exactly. That's a good question. You, I doubt it, right? You ruined the fur. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be a furry expert, dude. Because I'm not. But <laughs> can you wash a furry suit? <laughs> How to wash a furry suit, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny as heck. No way. But it does. They definitely don't clean it. Imagine showing up with a dry cleaner with a fur suit. <laughs> They'd probably laugh at you, man. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, okay. They probably wouldn't even want to. They'd be too scared to ruin it. He just has that look on her face. She's like, yeah, all right. The furry, the, pur the furry's like, what? My money's still good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. It's, it's beyond me. Man, I'm pretty psyched. It looks like this, this uh, Phrygia Empire that I was fighting, they're really falling apart. That's good. Oh, hold on. You see this chat? Oh, you talking about fursuits? I've got one, Zesh says. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about it. Tell us about them. Yeah, exactly. Tell us about them, right? Tell us about them. Can you, how do you wash it? Right. The worst part is the head, usually. I guess, yeah, because then you're getting sweaty in there, too. You gotta, like, shave your head before you go somewhere. Lighten us. How do you clean it? Like any cloth, you watch it really. But you don't think that ruins the fur? That doesn't ruin the fur, do you? You don't think to th toss it in the washer? I just feel like if you have like a fur blanket and you put it in there, like you're gonna ruin it, right? Do you think there's someone who's like a furry but they actually use a real pelt? 
Like real fort, real, real fur? I feel like that would be like mildly offensive. I think so. I think it would be, but at the same time, there's like the world's a big place and there's a lot of people out there, so somebody's done it, right? Oh, for sure. Dries for as long like any like dries for as long as a gigantic teddy bear. Doesn't it have some structure? Look at all of us. We're just like trying to figure out what the heck's going on here, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Oh, you know what? I have a ton of power. I can convert a ton of people to Hellenic. There were some around. I don't think that any of them were mine, though. I like brothers and sisters that had them. It's the same stuff plushies are made of. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't toss a plushie in the washing machine. Would that ruin it? I see. I see. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't <laughs> that's funny dude that's a good one sand he goofball <laughs> you have enlightened us with important information thank you beautiful man I see the culture man oh Macedonian beautiful A ton of slaves that aren't trying to make a religion. Yeah, exactly. People, <laughs> I've a fleece blanket. I wouldn't want to ruin an expensive suit. I feel like that's a fair thing to say. That's right, dude. We're learning something. Isn't that cool? It's not that expensive. Okay, it is. Depends on the material you use and whether you make it or someone else. Fur is obviously the most expensive part. You use real fur or fake fur? Oh, faux fur. That's right. Fox fur. No, I think they just misspelled fox. <laughs> nope, that means fake. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's why they call it faux news. I get it, dude. You like? I like when that when they toss that one out there. That's when they like make fun of Fox. You're watching Fox. I think I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one with real fur. Beaver or something, you know? We know where beavers are. We just. Whip him by the tail, whack him into a tree, dude, and call her good. Call her a day. <laughs> yeah, yikes. Yeah, you can try that. Yeah, you're call, dude. Your call. <laughs> OMG! Hey, from Canada. Hey, from the United States, man. What's up? Becca? Becca's been, I think I've seen Becca in some other live chats before. That seems like a, like a name I've read before. I think so. 
wish this dude had more mer as I speak of the devil. I say, wish he had more mercenaries and look at me. There he does. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> So these are too much territory, it's hard to cover it. <laughs> yes, I have. You do your thing. <laughs> a porcupine suit sounds like fun I I get real quills dude and people are like oh these are really cool and then it like cuts their hand I think that'd be cool that would really just get them you know that would really get them good the war goal is being contested let's form a, a cult huh the chosen ones can see this live. <laughs> Let's get a cult going. That's right. Let's do it. We're here. We ain't messing around. Did I take this guy over yet? What's going on here? Akuya, which is where? Here. We'll get him. I don't want him to break the siege though. Let's form one. Let's not. Free health care. Dot dot dot. Let's. Where did that come from, the free health care thing? Because I'm not providing free health care as part of being the cult. I don't make that much. I don't make that much money. Okay, moment of truth here. I gotta get this guy out of here before he finishes the siege. Nice. Did they just cancel it? Dude, they might have. Those fools. Those dummies. Dumb move on their part. Alright, alright. How does this work now? Crisis in Phrygia. The ruler died. The country eager to take advantage of the situation. Numerous lackeys were tenders with legitimate claimants to the throne. I've risen up to bear arms against the newly crowned Basilius. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Pretenders in Phrygia can now be supported with a new character interaction. I don't understand how to see who the pretenders are, though. That's the frustrating thing is the the UI in this game is kind of goofy. That's called benefits. Wow. What? Rude. <laughs> let's not. Let's. Let's go on. Let's. That is only cringy, huh? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, so who's the pretenders then? This dude is the pretender. So I don't I don't see where to do it then. It says there's like a special character interaction, then where is it? Why is it not tell me how to do that? It's kinda weird. Cause I really want Phrygia to fall apart. Cause they declared a war on me when I was weak. 
in the middle of a civil war and I was, ended up beating them out after a really long war and I lost like a lot of money, a lot of guys. And um, I'm a little bitter about that now. I'm a little mad at them. Not super impressed about it. But this war's over. Enemies deserve no quarter. Look at that. It's like we're going to be a pretty beautiful looking Egypt. Families. Alexandrid needs something to do here. Can we do we have an Alexandrid in the list? Yeah, we do. Krems. I have a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox. I, I don't game on them super often, but um like sometimes I'll play Call of Duty on the Xbox and then on PlayStation 4 that's where I'll play more like single player stuff. Not on them a ton. Oh, they're just talking about gaming and stuff. Talking about forming a cult with free healthcare. Yeah, you know the classic, the 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 regular, the huge. <laughs> Sick, I'm in, dude. <laughs> I knew you would be. How many guys do they have? thousand let's grab one of these Wait, you're the one setting up a discord? Yeah. I have a discord but it's it's I don't really understand discord dude I have a discord and I feel like stuff goes wrong with it all the time I don't really know what's going on people will, like send me stuff and they're like hey do you know how to fix this and I'm like I I try to fiddle with it man but it's hard what? this would what's that I don't think you are either. I don't think random people can join. I have to. I have to reset it up. I think I, it's it's a it's a pretty much a tear down and a do over at this point. Or maybe I could just I just need to add a couple new intro channels or something to get it better set up. I do have one though. This is a, was a spontaneous live, my friend. Just decided to toss her up. Hope that's okay with you, with you guys. <laughs> I think it's time to wipe out Kush. That's exactly how it went. Yeah, I was I was just gonna play this game regular, and Zach here was like, "Hey, man, you should um, if you're gonna play it for a couple hours, you might as well <laughs> launch it live," which makes sense. Yeah, you know what that is actually. I think. You're quiet because I, I can fix it. Here. Talk again, Zach. Hello? Yeah. You're a little quiet, but I had the, the a lot of the audio turned down. There, I'll boost you up. They probably couldn't even hear you. It's my bad. There we go. Go ahead and talk again. Let Can you guys hear the other dude? Thanks. <laughs> I almost have to go like headphones then because otherwise it'll be echoey. I'll, I'll do it. I'll put some headphones on. Right, nice, here. Might be, might be I have this. Right. I have the stream muted just so I don't have to hear it twice. Echo for sure. Yeah. What the? F did you hear that? I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of scared me. So yeah, that's what happens. Man. That's how they get you. we go. Now I can actually hear stuff. And... I can get immersed in the world. Oh, hey! <laughs> okay, let's see. It's weird, I've been here this whole time, and people probably couldn't hear me until now. That's true, man, yeah. I mean, <laughs> That's that, funny. That is kind of funny, because they, like, it's kind of probably like I was talking to myself then, you know? Gosh, I have four armies here. That ain't right. You know what's gross though, man, in this game is um I think my empire is getting big enough to the point where it's gonna be really hard to put down rebellions if they happen. 
because I, I just don't have the guys to march across the world, you know? It's such a long ways. <laughs> yeah, that crazy noise. Sorry. When I switch cables to go to the headset, that's what happens. Because, like, the, the speaker thing, like, bumps the metal. I don't think... I, I've tried it. Sometimes I do it better than other times, but it's hard, man. It ain't easy being cheesy. Soft but understandable. Fair enough. We're running a deficit right now, but that's okay. It's a baby one and I have a lot of money. Greater or equal to 600 cities. Well, how many do I have? That seems like something that could tell me. Um, we're supposed to go get snow tomorrow. But oh, really? Gross. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, maybe not anymore. Looks like temperature warmed up a little bit. Yeah, we were, we were projected to get snow. That's good. What's it supposed to be needed? Like 50 or something? That sounds right. Tomorrow? 56. Today? Oh, no, today? 51, I think I was seeing. Today we have a high of 59, which is right now. Then we're on the decline the rest of the day. And then yeah. tomorrow, high of 46, Sunday, 53. If All next week's just gonna be trash. You see this one? If only it would snow where I was. I love snow. Yeah, oh, it, yeah. you, you kind of yeah. lose interest after after every morning. You have to get out there in the cold and scrape off your car and shovel out. Oh, you get stuck in a parking lot. Put it this way, we've had like 70 inches of snow yeah, this it's, year. It's been gross, man. Like, uh, we're, we're done. I'm done with it. <laughs> over it mm -hmm. seven months of winter and counting you're right dude exactly well yeah i think um yeah becca's from canada she gets it we're in, we're in wisconsin so it's it's yeah it's start. pretty almost almost the same it's, it's some nasty stuff man it's not fun it gets old and, you know snow and christmas we had snow on christmas i think right or no Mhm. Mm we did we did for sure we went from having like none three feet three feet of snow to having no snow in the span of two weeks. Yeah, yeah, dude! Holy crap! That's right. It was, yeah, we literally literally had like thirty six inches ago. of snow, and it was yeah. we were like covered in snow, like it was deep, deep. Mm, it was literally to the bottom of my mailbox. Yeah, I went on a walk and I was like, I had to, I had to sit in the snow and take a take a rest because I was high stepping through the snow. It was gross. Seventy yeah. cm. You're gonna have to. You gotta use um. You gotta use the American units, man. I don't know, uh, I, Rebecca. I don't. We don't know what that is. I'm just joking. I, like I, 20, 27 inches. Yeah, I, like I, I kind of can picture seventy centimeters, but. Well, because a hundred centimeters okay. makes a meter, right? Or no? I don't know, but we have the NA education. That's right. <laughs> um, is that right though? Is is that what it is? It's a hundred centimeters makes a meter. Because Senna is 100, right? So then Believe so. Every 33 or so would be like, what? Uh, a foot? So much rain. Do you get a lot of floods? Not really, but um, I mean in spring, there's definitely higher water levels. I don't know if I'd say floods specifically. Like, at least we, not, we not do like have flooding, just not around here. Yeah. We have flooding elsewhere in the state where it just happens. But I never really had to worry about it. I, I mean, I've no, seen not not here. Up some, but like to where you have not to in our town. Some stuff, but yeah, not really. Sorry, it's about twenty-seven inches. See, fair enough, dude. You're like dead on. No, a hundred centimeters is like a, a meter, right? Not thirty-nine inches. Wait, yeah, it would be because like thirty-nine inches would be like three feet. Yeah, okay, I'm dumb. Yeah, you're right. I think a hundred centimeters is pretty close to thirty-nine inches. That sounds about right. I don't know what I was talking about. Nonsense, like usual. Yeah. 
Hip waist boots. <laughs> Hip waist boots, eh? I like how they do like the, she did, like the Canadian thing. Eh? Eh? Hip waist boots, eh? Oh, don't you know, dairy bud? Uh huh. Let me put some gravy on my french fries. But, um, that's actually really good. But, I, um. I, 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 I'm not against it. It's like mashed potatoes and gravy. It's a good, good deal. What was, uh. No, we do have waiters, though. Waiters. People do wear waiters in the winter. I've seen it. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. First of May, we'll do the fair war in these goons. You wrecked my boat, you goons. Dad, aside from the damage to the boat, which we will fix, what do you think of the presentation? Gravy is gross. My boat. MGL, yeah, my boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's like, it's just devastated. What mm -hmm. does NGL stand mean? Not gonna lie. At least I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow, that makes sense. Yeah, gravy is gross, not gonna lie. Why? Why is gravy gross? Gra gravy is just like wheat, right? Wheat with some flavoring? And water? Isn't that a thing? Eh. Yeah. A is universal, they say, you say, but at the same time, it's kind of a Canadian thing. I saw a moose, eh? Right? There's a moose loose in the hoose. Right. <laughs> I never heard that one. In the hoose. What are you talking about? Uh, it comes out naturally in text with your faces right for sure. Gothilox says gravy's gross too. What's wrong with gravy, man? What? How do? You, what is gravy? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think that's all it is. It's just like flour and flavoring and like water, because it's pretty much just all gluten, right? That's like the whole thing. That's why people who are gluten and free can't eat it. I think that seems like it could be a thing. I don't know enough about it though. Megan, I don't know what kind of gravy you're eating, but that sounds awful. It's lumpy, chunky, gray mush. Megan's <laughs> Megan's coming at us from prison or something. Prison meal. Here's your slosh. Here's your slosh. They just plop it right in the tray. Yeah, like the classic like <clears throat> um, children's movies where they're in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, it just kind of plops. Yeah, just stuff. It's like, yep. oh, good. It looks like pure just oatmeal. Flour, beef, and spice. I think that's it, right? Gravy is a sauce often made of juice, juices of meats that naturally uh, that run naturally during cooking and thickened with flour or cornstarch added for texture. Right, that's what thickens it up. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's just like the stuff from the meat. I'm a sucker, dude, for gravy. I love gravy, man. I do too. I like gravy, biscuits potatoes. and gravy. Oh yeah, you can't go wrong. You can't yeah, go wrong. it's really good. It's very, very good. You have your dip your, pizza your gravy. In Wait, pizza? No, no. I I never heard that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe I maybe I just made that one up, but you get you get what I'm no. trying to say. <laughs> you get like the good gravy and then you put like chop up some sausage and mix it in with there and oh, have some biscuits yeah, with it. Dude, oh that's so good. Really good man. You're, I'm like starving. I haven't eaten I don't think I've eaten today yet. I had a little snacky, but that's it. You're making me hungry. I got some stuff in the fridge. I got the ham man and just a free gravy game. Yes, with cheese curds and fries, you got poutine. I I don't like cheese curds. Gross, they gross me out. Cheese curds is. One I of those love foods. cheese curds. I, um, I I don't mind this like the smell of deep fried cheese curds. I'm okay with those ones, but when they're not deep fried and they're like that, sh they're like that shiny. You know what I mean? They're like ones? rubbery. Yeah, those rubby ones. I oh dude, those make me so sick. Just even looking at them makes me sick, and then if, if I smell them, dude, I start gagging. I can't do it. Yeah, fair cheese curds are really good. Or you can get like the... Like a deep fried cheese curd? Mm -hmm. I used to like those. I, mm -hmm. You know the cheese thing, it's, it's just all in my head. I just can't touch it, but like, I... Those I remember being pretty good. You know what? I would maybe... If I had some right now, I'd maybe give it a shot. I've been trying to get over the whole cheese thing. It's hard though, dude. It's hard. 
Squeaker the better. Yeah, except for that. I won't do that. That just is, like, gross. They smell bad, too. That's where I draw the line. I, like, I can do a deep-fried one, I feel like. Not, and it can't be too big, though. It needs to have, like, a lot of batter. Balance it out. You know what I'm saying? Melting See, <clears throat> I don't discriminate against potatoes. I like all potatoes. Potatoes are good, man. I prefer gravy on them. But you, you know what? Even without butter, like, if you're kind of hungry, man, I feel like if you just nuke a potato in the microwave and just cut it up, and just, like, you can still enjoy that. Probably. What I used to do for lunches is, is I would just go get a bag of potatoes and keep them in the break room. And um, every day I'd just microwave a potato. And I would go get, like, Price. like little cans of stuff just to on with it. So you can put, like, chili on it and stuff like that. You can put anything on a potato. That's what's awesome about it. Oh, see, Becca and I are on the same page. Sweet potato fries are the shit. They're actually so fucking good. They're okay. I, I love sweet potato fries. They're, I, like, by far... If, if someone was like, do you want regular fries or sweet potato fries? Sweet potato fries, 100% of the time. I don't... I'm, Hands down. I'm not going to sit here and say they're bad. They're okay. But I would... Like, I wouldn't really go out of my way to go and get them, I don't think. I, I would definitely go. I have gone out of my way to get. If I know somewhere has sweet potato fries, I'd definitely go this, out of my way to get them. There's not them. a ton of places that really have it, dude, is there? Mm, around here, there's a couple places. Like, Culver's has them um, a certain part of the year. I can't remember what time of year, though. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you can get them at Red Robin and Milwaukee Burger, I think, and that's really about it. Oh, a hundred percent. Even if they cost more, I'm still getting them. Do they fry sweet potato fries? Mm-hmm. Or are they grilled? Oh, they fry them. I'll pay the four bucks extra. Yeah, I mean... Don't care. I'll pay the four bucks extra. <laughs> I definitely would. Sweet potato is a superior carb. <laughs> it, it actually is, though. I guess. I don't know. I just, like, I don't, um... I don't know, man. I just, they're okay. Like, I just, I'm not looking for, like, that that kind of sweet with a fry. I want that, I don't even know how to describe the taste of a french fry. It's not, it's not bitter. It's not sour. I see one hype train I couldn't get on is the sweet potato fry around here, at least. A lot of people eat it with marshmallow sauce. What the heck is marshmallow sauce? It's, like, creamy marshmallow. Like, if, if you were to, like, take a marshmallow and melt it down into, like, a whip. Gross. Yeah, people do I, that. It's like people who get super yes. psyched to dip their fries in shakes. I don't like that either. I don't want to dip yeah. my french fry in ice cream, okay? And get salt. Red Robin's a burger chain around here. I like I like Red Robin. I do too. I think I have a coupon for there. I would like it more if it wasn't so freaking expensive. I don't think it's... It's not that bad compared to a lot of other... It's, I mean, it's, it's comparably, right? It's, comparably. it's about the about same price as five guys. You think so? Really? Yeah, I do. I feel like every time I go there, I'm, it's pretty reasonably priced. Five guys for a bur a regular burger and a regular thing of fries here, at least paying twelve bucks. Yeah, and that's gross. at least. I feel like. And at Red Robin, if like say I were to I go guess, get my, you're paying 12 bucks my for meal, that, like if you went to Milwaukee Burger Company or if you went to any other place like that, you, you're paying a similar amount, right? Mm, yeah, similar, but it's five guys is definitely like the most costful, or like more costy. Wait, on the end of that about? whole spectrum. I'm not going to disagree with you. Five Guys is crazy expensive. Mm -hmm. And their peanut, their french fries are good, but they taste like... At, after you have a couple of the french fries, I get kind of that peanutty flavor. Because like, that's what they fry them in or whatever. Is that peanut oil? I mean, sweet potato pie is the best. They'll sprinkle marshmallows on it and you're all set. I don't... I've never had that, so I guess I don't know. That sounds like weird. That sounds like a weird mix. Like, mm. it's one of those things that I guess makes sense, but like... It's like people, some people will be like, dude, if you put peanut butter on, like, uh, I don't know. If you put peanut butter on a steak, it's actually really good. And you're like, yeah, I, yeah, no. I guess, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Like, I'm just pulling it off the top of my head, but, like, like you can see how some flavors would kind of mix, but it just doesn't seem right that they go together. Yeah, I know that, uh, a kid I went to middle school with, actually, he put nacho cheese on chocolate chip cookies. Hmm. <laughs> and that one I didn't understand at all. That's, do you do you do you remember when the Olympics was going on last year? I think it was. 
and there was like a lady who was eat, drinking Coca Cola and eating chicken tenders, and then the camera was on her, and she takes her. And she dipped. Chicken tender, she dipped her chicken tender into her coke. And she yeah. She dips it in the coke and eats it, and then she whispers something to the kid, and then they find out that what she whispered to the kid was, "Don't tell anybody I did this because they'll make fun of me or something." <laughs> and they got it on camera. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> but she's just like, yeah, it's something I did as a kid, and I just always kept doing it. And, like, I, it's one of those things, like, I don't doubt that it probably tastes okay. You're just, you know, infusing sugar and stuff on your chicken. I mean, it's kind of like Dylan Dylan and I, we, when we do a... Dylan and I went on this huge kick for a really long time where you'd make a peanut butter sandwich with mm -hmm. Doritos in it. Nacho cheese Doritos. Gross. Why? I don't know. That's <laughs> weird. That one's weird to me. Peanut butter and cheese, yeah, it's kind of weird. I guess I don't know. It, it's it's everyone that I've had in, try it has actually enjoyed it. I've not I've not had someone that's been like, ugh, this well, is gross. The thing is too is like some people that pitch stuff like that. To me, it's like it's like ketchup on a stick in a way because like like I like peanut butter. And you I, say and ketchup like, on a stick? A steak. Like oh steak. In, in that like I don't I don't deny that if you take a piece of steak and you dip it in ketchup that it tastes good. But I would rather eat just a steak, or I would rather eat just ketchup. You know what I mean? In the same way that, like... I, would... I, like, I, like... <laughs> I understood the steak part of what you're saying. I did not understand the eat just ketchup part. Well, like, with something else. With something else. You know what I mean? <gasps> oh, but, sure. But, like, like in the way that, like, I like peanut butter sandwiches, and I like Doritos, but, like, I don't think that that comp means that they compound together. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like, guess. I like orange juice and I like milk. I wouldn't mix orange juice and milk. Even if it did taste good, I'd be like, oh. no, that's just. What I about, mean, well, they, they do that with Orange milk? Julius. That just sounds weird, but that's milk and orange. Like, Orange Juliuses have milk in them. Like, they actually do. So, if you like Orange Julius, that's what that is. I don't really. I don't know enough about Orange Julius to know if I like something like that. I like Orange Julius. It's pretty good. It's just smoothies, right? Uh, kind of, yeah. Is that a smoothie place, or is that a type of drink? It's like Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen has Orange Julius. Yeah, but Orange Julius, is that like a type of drink, or is that something that Dairy... Is that a company that Dairy Queen owns? No, it's like a drink that they have. Are you sure? Because I feel like it says Orange Julius on the side of the building. Maybe it's both. Might like be, Fried I don't know. Like Fried Burger and Fries. Burgers and Fries are also what they serve, you know? I don't know. Me neither. Smarter men than me have figured it out. I'm just all I know is I'm trying to set up a strong Egypt, dude, for the world. I don't know if Canada has Dairy Queen, so they might not be familiar with Orange Julius. It's like know. a, it's like a frothy drink. It's kind of how I describe it, what's I guess. The Canadian burger joint, Tim Hortons. You know I Barbara? don't know. It's weird. It's a weird one, but I think like Burger King bought them. And we have Tim converted. Hortons though. Do we? I think that's a, like a Canadian company though, because I think Burger King bought them, and then Burger King like inverted their company so that Tim Hortons technically owns Burger King or something. Or Tim Hortons is like the owner of Burger King, so that they have to pay the Canadian tax rate as opposed to the American tax rate. It's something interesting like that. Hmm. Or like in that way, because it's however America's corporate tax works, because we double tax. Because, like, if you make more money somewhere else, you also have to pay the American tax rate, and that's why it's really unattractive to do business sure. or to have, to have your headquarters in America. Because, like, if, if the tax rate is 30% in America, but you sell something in France and the tax rate is 15%, you have to pay an extra 50, the extra 15% you have to pay to America on your profits. But if you do it in a different country, they don't have a similar law like that. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting, man. It's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know why they add the milk to it, but I just know that they do. It probably just adds a little, it thickens it, right? That's probably the idea. Thick, thickens it up a little bit. And like, it's like, to the point where it's like, almost, it's like, turns like that kind of like, I want to say slushy, but I don't know. But it's not, it's like, it's like, uh, I don't know what word to use to describe it. I get what you're saying, it's like frothy. Yeah, that's, like, like I said, yeah, frothy, that's what I said before, and I just couldn't, I don't know. I don't know if many people know what a frothy drink is like. I imagine it's like if you've microwaved milk. That's like what I'm picturing in my head, you know? 
I'm just picturing the milk curdling if you microwave the milk. Yeah, well, I haven't actually tried to microwave milk. I just <laughs> maybe maybe we should make a YouTube video on it. <laughs> yes, what happens is. when you microwave milk? I wonder what does happen. Who knows? I have a shitty old microwave in my garage. And milk's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> do we drink it though? We have to drink it. No, absolutely well, why not. Why do it if you're not drinking it though? That's the thing. <laughs> oh no! I would need. To, I had to make sure I didn't work the next two days in case things just go south. <laughs> in case you just flat out get sick from it or something, huh? <laughs> Their popsicle stains the hell out of your tongue too. Their popsicles from Dairy Queen. Does Dairy Queen have popsicles? I don't know. I guess maybe maybe. They have slushies. I'm a slushy guy, dude. I like slushies. Slushy or icy? A difference. Well, clearly, we don't need to have this conversation then. No, explain. Do you know the difference? Is there a difference? I, mean, okay, I mean, when... icy is made by Coca Cola, slushy is probably made by someone else, right? That's like the, probably the difference. No, it's not. That they're actually different. So, have you had a, a an icy from like Burger King or sure. yep. or anywhere like that? Oh, and slushies then you've are had... more like icy. They're not like more yes. like That must be what it yep. is. Oh, probably slushies are better then, huh? No. You really think so? Icy's are way easier to drink through a straw, and then you don't suck the syrup out, and then you're That's just left true. with a pile of ice. Pile of ice. I, I guess I'll give you that. Bagged milk. Bagged Best. milk. I feel like slushy is kind of a colloquial term. It's kind of like how like Band Aid is a like a like I think Band Aid's like the brand, right? But it's not the item. It's like a, it's called a bandage, but Band Aid's like a brand name. Yeah, it's fair. Cause icy is a, is a brand, but everyone just calls them ICs. I don't know if, if they have actual technical term. I think um, Coke got in a lot of trouble when they were doing IC because I think that they lied about how well they were selling, and they got Burger King to buy a whole bunch of machines, and then Burger King found out, and they got in a, they were like in a big spat for a while. I think it was in like the late '90s or early 2000s, and that's why a lot of I think Coca Cola had to pay. Burger King, they have a lot of those machines in there. That's why Burger Kings have a lot of those ice or icy machines. I'm glad they do. I love ICs. It's yeah, dude. For a buck, dude, you walk out with an IC. That's that's a sweet deal. Especially when it's hot outside. <laughs> yeah, then the machine's broken. I feel like those machines are always broken. It's like an ice cream machine in that way. Yeah, in Canada, we bag our milk. That's interesting. We bag. Why milk? though? They don't know when they're gonna see the next cow, dude. It's too cold. It'll freeze otherwise. It is a weird concept. Yeah, it does seem weird. A liquid in a bag just seems kind of weird. It makes me think of like the ice cream things that I used to work at a fast food place and you'd like pour the ice cream thing in, you know, into the machine. And that was like kind of weird. This is awkward. Freezing about too. We have canned milk. Canned milk seems weird too. I've seen canned condensed milk in stores. I, I've never met anyone who actually drinks it. It's more of I think a cooking thing for people that I've met. I get. I think that I know, makes sense. Cartons weird me out. I don't even think we have. Co can you can you can you even buy a carton of milk anymore? I think it's all in just for gallons. Sure, I think you can. I haven't seen I a carton a, of milk in a, a long brand. time. I think it is. I think it's by like the almond milk. <clears throat> oh, probably like special types. Because almond milk's in a carton. Hmm. I don't right. drink almond milk, so I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen almond milk in not a carton. Uh, that's true. It contain less plastic than a milk jug, causing less environmental harm than milk jugs. Milk bags are more ideal for an environment stand environmental standpoint than paper milk cartons or glass bottles. Yes, I, I guess. Yeah. Well, what's the bag made out of? The bag is made out of plastic. It's like well, a, if the it's like a if the bag's made out, made out of plastic and you have like milk cartons, cartons typically is cardboard with wax on it. How long cardboard should I feel like should um, cardboard should deteriorate faster think, than plastic? Right. It's just paper. Yeah. Maybe if it's, if it's if it's got the wax on it though, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an expert. You know, <laughs> I've never had to think about this. <laughs> hmm. It's gonna break some more. Boing, 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 boing. Little um, Jurassic Park. Yep. 
was thinking about watching those because after watching that Avengers movie, it has Chris Pratt, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll watch the old Jurassic Park movies again. I like those movies a lot. It's good. They're fun. I buy curtains all the time? Question <laughs> mark. I just I don't. It seems it does seem weird to think about. Carton and milk. I've seen cartons of milk in movies, I feel like. I feel like I've never really seen them in store. Like, if I had to pick out in my head a time I've seen a carton of milk in a store. I don't know. I guess, I think if I had been in people's houses, though, where it's in a carton, it's just weird. It weirds me out. Okay, the 1960s in Canada was weird. <laughs> it's a different time, dude. I just want to move to Canada for healthcare. Why? America's got the best in the world. Ah, nice prank, <laughs> dude. If you can pay for it, they do. I think that's that's kind of the consensus, right? Yeah, but how many people can realistically pay for? What you don't like twenty thousand dollars to pay for a for a three day stay in the hospital, dude? What are you talking about? Oh, Just sitting around. Oh, weird. Yeah. Never thought of it that way. <laughs> No, it makes us like a weird neighbor. You know what, though? I feel like Canada isn't necessarily our weird neighbor. If anything, Mexico's our weird neighbor. They're the odd duck out out of us three, right? I feel like Canada and America are a little bit closer together than America and Mexico. Everyone loves a weird... Yeah, everyone doesn't love a weird neighbor. I've had some, some weird neighbors. I used to have a neighbor yeah. that lived a... Um, when I lived in this apartment um, complex thing. Every time I go to mail, the dude lived right in front of the mailbox, and he was always waiting in front of the mailbox, and he would just talk to me every time I go get my mail, and he wouldn't shut up. And I was like, "Okay, Cor, I don't, I don't want to say no. Okay, dude, I gotta, I gotta go." It's like that fucking. Um, you remember? Did I ever tell you about the whole, the whole he Heather thing when that was a current thing, so. Reed? Why? What's up? So this girl I was involved with found out she had colon cancer and she'd get three feet of her colon removed. Oh no! Okay. And uh, so she had that happen, but like they, she didn't like voluntarily say like I want to do this. Sure. She went in for a checkup and they admitted her to the hospital, and she didn't have any insurance, so she had to stay in the oh, hospital for 14 days. It. And she's she had to she had to declare bankruptcy or something, but it's insane, right? It's like a million. She's dollars like. Or she has like 1.2 million dollars in debt. Well, she doesn't talk to me anymore because she think? found out she's going to die, but it's fine. Oh, so she... Okay. I get you. She cut ties with me to save me that whole thing, but yeah, she'll probably be gone in a couple of years. <laughs> kind of messed up. I guess that's one way to, to deal with it. You know, it's... I guess, but, yeah. Like, do you, there's no way you could ever realistically pay that off if you're a normal... If you're an average person. No. 1.2 be... million to keep putting away? Like, dude, yep. screw that. You have to declare bankruptcy. You have no choice. Yep. Like, <laughs> unless you have a great idea for an invention now. <laughs> That's right, you know? exactly. Yeah, Becca's got the right response to that one, isn't it? It's pretty, pretty brutal. Yeah, dude, I can't even imagine. Yep. It'd be pretty rough. Uh, insurance in America is outrageous. Yeah, especially if you don't get in it early. Um, that's kind of what screws yeah. you sometimes. Or, otherwise, if you don't have it th with your employer, that's usually what ends up people end up getting lucky out with. It Even with through employer. employers, it's expensive sometimes. Yeah, for sure, sometimes. Like, like through, even through mine right now, it costs me, I think it's like $265 a month. Oof. Yeah, no kidding, man. Yep. And, the, and I still have like a... Still like a three thousand dollar deductible. Well, it's, it just seems like the real issue is just how expensive the service is. It seems like the <clears> price <throat> is weirdly inflated. Once you hit your deductible, you usually only have X amount of dollars before you, they don't cover it anymore. Too. Yeah, they're just like whatever. To the point where, and you're just like that. What a, what a scam, you know? And it's like, what, what do I do now? I thought the point of me paying all this money was to be okay if something major happened, but then all of a sudden right. it's like, all right. Need Sorry, a major operation. Dude. It's gonna cost a million dollars, My Oh, I have insurance. It's fine. Oh yeah, they only cover half. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let me go and check my piggy bank for 500k. Yeah. 
<laughs> I remember this one house next street used to put garden gnomes on our street. Yeah, they used to put garden gnomes on the front lawn and create battle create scenes with battles. Them. That's awesome, dude. That's cool as heck. It's kind of interesting. That's not weird. That's cool, man. I wish I had neighbors like that. I used to have this neighbor too. One time they lived above me, and I was cleaning my place, and I used um. I use Febreze and I use dish soap. Those are the things I was using. I was just cleaning. I was just doing dishes and stuff, just you know, bumming around. And all of a sudden, I heard a knock on the door, and I was like, "Oh, okay." And I answered the door, and my neighbor was like, "Hey, I live upstairs. Um, are you using some really harsh chemicals to clean right now?" And I was like, um, "I mean, I'm cleaning." And then they were like, "Oh, well, it's just really, it's just really bothering me." Or they were, they were kind of on like a throwing a fit about it, and I was like, "Huh." Okay, well, I'm done, so. But it's Febreze, man. It's Febreze. I don't think that really counts as a harsh chemical. No, I don't think Febreze is... It's not even close. To, I mean, I can definitely say if they're using, like, pine salt, that can get a little bit... The smell can get a little strong. I'll give you that, Especially yeah. straight off the rip. One can just hit you. Yeah. It's like, oof. <laughs> Dude, sounds awesome. No metal. That does sound awesome. <clears throat> it's stuff like that that's like weirdly creative and fun, but I don't know. It's easy to do too. Like I was at a, that Smash Bros tournament, man, and that thing was like weirdly professional. It was super fun. Mm -hmm. It was at like some dude's house, and I thought it was just gonna be like a bunch of kind of goofballs that were just doing their own thing. But um, I don't know. It wasn't. It was. He had like a, a whole hotel breakfast laid out for us and everything like that. It was like crazy how huh. in depth it was. It's really cool. Ah, wholesome. That's right. Just a, just a cute old married couple, dude, just doing their thing. I it's love a, wholesome things. It's nice, isn't it? It's, it's a beautiful thing. Wholesome things make me cry. <laughs> there you go. They actually do. It's just like so when weird. I see like it is like when I see like people like do, like genuinely go out of their way and do something, or they, or like you just see like a wholesome act occur, and it's just like oh, just inspires dude. that, and you're like oh, it's like that was that was awesome. Sometimes it's it's the little things too, you know. It doesn't have to be a huge thing. It's just like oh, just like just it's little like a sweet things. gift, you know. Mhm. Mm I was thinking. I always have a really hard time getting people gifts. Um. Hobby Lobby, though, I was, I was just exploring there not too long ago. And I feel like Hobby Lobby has some really cool gifts, dude. Like, if you were looking for a gift for somebody, you just go to Hobby Lobby and you just browse. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, dude, they could, I could get them, like, a revolver-shaped toilet paper holder. You know what I mean? Hand-waving emoji, emoji from Shauna. Shana? Shana Irish? Shana. Shana? Shana? Pulls at the heartstrings. It really does, it, doesn't it? Yeah, it really, really does. So, like... I, I like torture myself by watching uh um like golden buzzer like videos of like X Factor and like America's Got Talent or Britain's Got Talent and like all like the kids will get on there and they'll just be like singing their little hearts out and then at the end of their audition they start crying it's like no stop right now <laughs> that was amazing and now you're making me feel things <laughs> I don't like when they sing on America's Got Talent. I, I don't like that. I like thing. when anyone performs an act that is something they're truly into. I don't really care. Well, I don't watch the actual I shows guess, either. Like, I just I, watch like the videos on I, YouTube. If I wanted and, like, to watch someone different. sing, I'd, I'd go watch American Idol, you know? Yeah, I've seen that toilet paper holder. I almost bought it for my dad. Yeah, it's, it's funny, dude. It's cool. It's, it, I guess mm -hmm. it, it's funny. It's awesome. Ooh, papyrus, huh? That's how they make paper, right? I think that's a thing. That's like, is that who they think invented paper? Was the Egyptians with papyrus? Uh, I believe so, yeah. That sounds right, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know if that's right, but I don't know enough about it to. Oh, for real? That's actually kind of cool. 
that's what's cool about that megan is that like you have to go into it and you have to expect that you're probably not gonna like make it super far or anything but it's cool just to go out there and try you know what i mean exactly it's worth a try you know what i mean because what if what if you don't want to be like a 30 or 40 year old and look back and be like oh what if i would what if i you know i feel like it'd just be a cool experience too exactly man I think I knew a dude too, and he was, I think he tried to, he did try to do one of the singing ones, I think. And I think they, he got, not, not like TV far, but I think he got a couple levels far in the audition thing. And then they told him no, and he said it was because, he says, that they told him no, and they're like, sorry man, you're talented and all, but you're too tall. Like, you're not kind of the image we're looking for, and we don't think that you can go forward. Well, it's funny, you know that Chris Crozu guy? I don't. He's from Barron, and he made it to the final stage of, I think, of some America's, or American Idol. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It's crazy to think that that's like a possible thing, isn't it? Yeah, and that's, that's a, Barron's a small town. Right, exactly. Yeah, and that's only like, mm, Barron's probably 45 minutes to an hour from us. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever been to Barron. I've probably been through. Probably. Yeah, you never know. You just take that shot in the dark and just see what happens. Exactly, man. I mean, someone has to get it. You know what I mean? And if you're talented, you could be as somebody. That's a thing. Yep. Ooh. -woo. Welcome. Ooh. -woo. Oh, hi there. Ooh. -woo, please adopt oh. me. <laughs> oh, hey. Didn't see you there. <laughs> Yeah, weird stories about the distance, right? Well, something like that, too. I wonder how many people, like, are actually super talented that just kind of fell through the cracks and didn't make it for some dumb reason. Nerves. That ha Exactly. That has to have happened. You know what I mean? Oh, I believe like, it. That's got to be a part of the equation. I have zero talent, so I'm good. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> What's that thing that people kind of say? Um, like, same. That's what it is. Same. Same. That's like that. Um, that's I'm doing okay. How are you doing, Reed? I'm doing okay, dude. I'm just playing a game. I'm just gaming away. That's all I. That's all I'm doing. Trying to trying to make a proud Egypt. It's probably been pretty lame because I'm just trying to work my way down this snake path that is Kush, and then I I, I want to wipe out this guy too in the same war, but I don't know if I have enough guys. So it'll be close. I ain't no quitter though, dude. I was in a pretty wild war with Phrygia, and I feel like they're like really weak now. They kind of fell apart. That's good. Good for me. I don't want to take credit for it, but I'm pretty sure it's because they overextended themselves in fighting me. So, I don't want to take credit for it, but I'm going to take credit for it. Oh, nice. That dude's not sick no more. How old is he? 45? Let's get up there. Oh, my ear. 24. Oh, his stats are garbage. No. Maybe I should have let my daughter be in charge. She's got good stats. Oops. You live and learn. You know what they say, Reed. Women are always right. That's right. I guess so. I guess I wasn't listening. Yep. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. That's the problem. <laughs> what do we both do? We game, dude. We game it up. What do you both do? I uh, work all the we, time. Yep, and we respect our privacy as well. That's also another thing that we do. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to just work. Work, 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 and work. Work, work, work. Fix my house. Maybe sell my house. Who fucking knows? Life's a journey, man. We'll figure it out. Let's 
that's what, that's what the stoner dad says on Big Mouth, and I feel like that resonates. <laughs> It's just crazy to end this game because like you go in with a huge army and um, by the time you get to the point where you have to fight the enemy, they have like you've lost so many guys in the desert. It's hard. It ain't right. Almost got him though. Man, it's a beautiful map though. Rome is getting tough. Look at them, they're getting swole. Okay, let's see here. See so you work tomorrow, huh? Today's kind of your day off, Zach? Yep. There you go. Work tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Message. New phone, who does? That's right. I was gonna go to my cousin's place to help him paint, but I think it seems like they have more of a too many too many chieftains in the tribe situation going on right now, and I don't feel like they need twelve people to paint a small room. Probably not, realistically. And, you know, they were gonna text me to say when they were starting, <clears throat> and I kinda assumed that we were doing that more at like noon. And I feel like oh, they forgot sure. about me. And then they were like, oh, you can come whenever. <laughs> you know? Art for it. Right. I'm stuck on my art. Y'all got any inspiration? Just spit out topics. Spit out topics? Man, let, do something Do something kind of edgy. I want something that has two different meanings if you're stuck on art. That's the kind of art that I like. I like it where one person can look at it and get one meaning, and another person can look at it and get another meaning. So, like, um... I don't know. Like, I tried to do one. I'm not a very good painter, so it didn't turn out super great, but I tried to do one where one guy was trying to put a crown on another guy's head, but I tried to make it in a way so that it looked like he could either be taking the crown off the guy's head or crowning him. You know what I mean? Like, maybe he's taking control of the situation, or maybe he's bestowing power onto the guy. Like, I think that's kind of a fun thing to try to do. Tricky, but I think it's fun if you do it right. But you know what? There is no right. It's art, you know? That's the thing. That's the way to do it, man. It really is. It's just, it's just fun to do it that way because then you actually can like draw things from it and everyone can have their own subjective experience and also be right. My entire portfolio and then there's just nothing. Is that the joke? Or is she saying that that's what her entire portfolio is? You think so? Maybe. Could be. Never know. I never want to know. Look at that beautiful Egypt that's going on there. It's a nice little empire. We're, we're a couple of, of tough boys down here. Darn tootin'. Darn tootin', that's right. Keep some mercs down south, because I'm probably gonna go to war again. Cause I ain't a bitch. Double meaning. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's kind of perfect, huh? Works out. It's a double I feel like I can wipe out this dude pretty much. I feel like, like all I really want with this Egyptian Empire that's going on 
I just want to just keep, I want to get to the south here, all the way down to the Horn of Africa, and I want to get the western part of the, half of the Arabian Peninsula, and I feel like I'll be happy with the Egyptian Empire. It'll be glorious. What'd you think? It will be a good answer. <clears throat> It'll be the most glorious. Yeah, I know. Yeah, dude, I know. You don't need, you don't need to see anything else. I need the strong parts to be Macedonian. It'd be tough. A couple of tough boys. Tough. Mm -hmm. That's so tough. Yeah, I know. How many seats <sighs> do I have? Is there a way to see? Nation overview. Oh, I only have 300 of them? So I need to be twice the size? That's huge. There's no way I'd be able to maintain an empire like that. That's insane, dude. You have to go mercenaries at that point. Manpower just shuts you down in this game. Because once you run out of dudes to fill your armies, you're just dead. D-E-D. -D. Oh, Megan has some art. I wonder if I can... Can I look at it? That's cool, man. I like that hand. That's cool as heck. They message you some art. They well, they put it in the in the chat. Oh my! Oh, now my chat loaded. It's cool. I like it. It's pretty. I I feel like hands are really hard too. That's what I like about that. Hands are really tricky. That's always like the tricky one, and they really got the oh dude, they got the vein right. That's what's cool. I don't really know what's happening. Is something? See, this is like that double meaning. Is there a beam going up, or is, or is like water being poured on the hand and flowing down? You know what I mean? Or are they holding? Are they holding one of the infinity stones? Jesus! <laughs> it's Avenger themed. I really like that. That's really good, actually. It's good stuff, man. It's a cool tech. Cool as hay, I should say. Yeah, that's really good. I just keep looking at it. That's yeah, really good. I like that a lot. It's a fun fixture, man. Something you just kind of just check out. I got a couple. I don't know if... I don't know which ones I have. Because I think... Let me see if I can find it. Oh, oh. <sighs> the only way I can draw hands is from studies since they're so hard for me to do. Just yeah. I'm kind of, I'm not a super great drawer. Sometimes I try to draw from stuff, but I drew this dove. Because I think, I don't know. It's like the dove's kind of a cool symbol because it's a symbol like of peace and it's a symbol of making peace with other people and, and of olive branches. Um, that's what he's kind of holding there is an olive branch. I had fun making that one. Looking good, someone says. Someone says, looking good. Great job, man. I especially like the color you used for the leaves and the way you painted them. Keep at it. Yeah, it's yellow. <laughs> I didn't know what else to color it. I I didn't really have an olive color, otherwise I think I that's like the right way to do it. Yeah, dude, hands are hard. Hands are super hard, I think. Shit ain't much, but it's honest work. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> it's a beaut. <laughs> that's, that's one beaut right there. <laughs> That's right. Whoa, you can build multiple marketplaces, huh? <sighs> Alexander's gonna be a trade, man. A trade powerhouse.
That's right, Megan. The people have spoken. Shut the link. Art's one of those things that I, I just, I always thought, like, I always felt like I could never do. And I, I don't know. I don't think I, like, some people I think just have a natural affinity to some stuff like that. Like, some people are, like, even from when I remember being younger, some people are, like, crazy good at stuff like that. And I have never been great at that kind of thing. So that's, like, super cool to see, I think. Oh, people are trying to import war elephants? Stuff to pull off in. Yeah, Megan, just feel free to pop that in there whenever you, you get that guy in there. Let's see here. What if we all meet up again in the next life? Link us. Do you guys have any YouTube merch? What are your opinions on it? I don't have any YouTube merch. I have nothing against YouTube merch. I've, I've thought about making it. I don't even know what to do, though. Like, I feel like I don't have enough designs. I was actually just going to do some of like the, the painting that I did there. I got some stuff, but I don't know what to I, do. I got a Snapchat if y'all want it, but that's it. Snapchat seems personal. <laughs> right. Opposed to like, well, there's only that's like, like here, I guess. I suppose. Just, just know that anyone can see this, and you're out, you're on the internet. Take seventy YouTube merch bought from another channel. I mean, what are your? Oh, oh YouTube merch bought from other channels. I got some ATG merch. Other than that, no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have any. I don't. I don't own any merch from a YouTubers. It's fine if you buy them. I guess I don't care. I, like, I'm sure if there's a YouTuber I really liked. I, I know people that have bought merch from YouTube channels. I would. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I don't think that makes like a loser or anything. I think it's like if you're just supporting someone that you you think is doing some cool stuff, and you're like repping your brand, you know, cults are pretty. Yeah. They are, aren't they? Cults are personal. Is this a cult now? I think so. It's a free healthcare cult. We all become Snapchat friends and form a cult. Who's <laughs> 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 being the punch, dude? That's a real question, right? That's like the. <laughs> oh man. It's so goofy. Oh my god, someone's armies are huge in the south. I don't really dive into social medias anyway, so it's not really a problem for me. It's true. It's fair enough. Yeah, I get you. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care where that was typed in. Yeah. What is Fridgey doing now? Now they're rolling in money. And they if you need money. merch designs, hit me up. There you go, Reed. Um. Well, email me so I don't forget. Email me here. It's gonna split my name in half, but it's it's yesterdayvarkus at gmail.com. I'll have to use Snapchat more often then. Lol. <laughs> right. See, the thing is, I'll have to hide my location on Snapchat if I had random people. That's true. That's true, man. That's right. Make sure your location is on there. <laughs> Putting a line on a shirt, like what? What's a line of mine? Do you think, Zach? Maybe calling Up yours. I yeah. When have I ever said that? When have I ever told someone up yours? What? What are you talking about a right line. now? It has to be something that I say. I don't know. You have to start saying something regularly. I think I call people goons a lot. I feel like that could be something, huh? Um, something you could there. try. When in Rome. I say that, but I don't know if I say that a lot in streams. No, I think you say that more so when we're out doing stuff. Exactly right. When in Rome, also roll the dice. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about wiping out 
Judea here, but you know what? That would make my empire look ugly. I think you should just put your logo on a shirt. That's for sure. That would be one of them, right? I feel like my logo could work on a... On... The thing is, what, what color shirt do I put it on? A white t-shirt? That's kind of lame, right? Mm. It'd probably look pretty good, but... What if it was like a black shirt with a white circle that in the center, and then the logo in that white circle? I feel like it needs a white background. It's the only thing. Hey, you could try it. Hey I mean, guys. I I could see. Yeah, I just mess around with some designs. I think. Otherwise, I think it'd look good on like a white hoodie. But um, I don't know. I'm not a big hoodie wearing guy though. I wear hoodies myself. Goofballs. Yeah, dude. Goofballs is a good one. People like that Chad stuff too. <laughs> Good balls. How long's the stream been going for? Mm, I can tell you here in a second. I should be able to see myself. Almost five hours. Yeah. Oh my god, that's crazy. Well, you know what? Then uh, I'll probably just do like another ten minutes or so, huh? And then uh, we'll call her good. We'll make it five hours even, and we'll, we'll call her good. Don't you think? Do whatever you want to do, man. That seems like fair to me, right? If you're having fun doing it, I'd say just keep going. Yeah, but I'm like, get, I'm at the point where I need to take a break, dude. I ate five hours playing a game. Oof. You know how I usually only play for like 30 minutes? <coughs> Ooh. That was a crazy one. Almost four hours. Hey, guys. <laughs> I want a shirt with, um, with Onision's vegetarian body on it. I think I actually have a... I think what I would really like is if... Here, I'll show it to the camera so you can see. I think I'd like that on a shirt. And it just says, this is my vegetarian body! The dude is just psycho. I feel like people would appreciate that, huh? Yeah, I lost track of time too. I've just been, I've been gaming it up. I've just been literally just sitting here, just hanging out. Just hanging, dude. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Being a free spirit. Just finished my placement and needed a placement for what? Yeah, was it? Should have been uh, a back, long ass time ago. Like I said, I finished my placement. I need needed. Oh, for like a test or something. I don't know. Oh, please don't, Yestervar. No, stop it. Stop what? You seem really no, no. falling down to earth. I appreciate that, Becca. I, I think I'm just a, I'm a normal dude. You're pretty much you're pretty much getting a, a bit of an uncensored, I suppose. Look at me here. This is kind of how I act in real life. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. When I'm not making fun of minorities. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know about that one. Yeah, that's old me, huh? I've changed! I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I do. I guess we'll see. What's that? Please <laughs> don't stop it. What, you know, if I had the Onision <laughs> on my shirt, you wouldn't get that one, or what? You wouldn't get the vegetarian body shirt. You know what, dude? I don't. I don't think this is super possible unless you actually went really deep into the creativity of it. What if there was a way to like scan in, like from that picture of Onision's body? What if you could get a shirt, like a like one of those shirts that just has the body on it? You know what I mean? That way, people know that's a vegetarian body. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're wearing it. You know what I'm talking about? Teacher, Jaha. Where are you at, son? I you said that you're gonna be you needed to be in bed or something. I don't even know who to fight. I'm like scared to start another war because I know it's gonna be crazy. Where's that loot? Ooh, nice. They're weak. I've changed, I swear. I've changed, I swear. <laughs> yeah, dude. History back 2019. <laughs> I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. You like? I like that one. What do you think about that song? It's a decent song. 
It is okay. Who is that? Is that Toby Keith? Uh, I think so, yeah. Good old as I ever was. I still hang out with my best friend, Dave. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's right. I don't have any friends named Dave. I don't think I do either. I'm all the way over Spain, in Spain. Huh? It's currently Espana. Wow. I should have been playing in Spain. That's like an important place. Carthage is there. I could have been Carthage or Rome or tried to conquer conquer Hispania. What did, what did Rome call it? What's the Latin word for Spain? Hispaniola? That seems like a thing. Probably, right? Or maybe they'll tell me. I also work tomorrow, but I don't have to go to bed for a couple more hours. Go to bed, eh? Hey, don't you know there, eh, bud? You should have been in bed a long time ago there, eh? Five minutes and we'll, and we'll be done here. Crop the head off the body and make it line up with the neck of the shirt so your head is right on the body. There you go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like you're wearing it. So that, like, it's actually like his body on your body. That'd be cool as heck. What'd you think? Be like, that'd be cool. Just this. I got a little drawer there now. My new desk. Just for little printouts of the people I talk about. In case I need a visual aid. Well, like 45,000, really. <laughs> OMG, do we sound like that? What are you talking about? I think I, I think people don't realize, because I've had a lot of people call me on, on a Midwestern or even Canadian accent. Some people <laughs> Canada, that I get a lot of comments about that. I'm staying until the end. I have priorities. <laughs> I have priorities. Furiously jotting down notes. I can just toss them in. <laughs> This empire is huge. How would you... There's no way. I think that's a big thing with the Roman Empire, right? Towards the end, one of the issues they had was they were so big that if there was a revolt, like, by the by the time you could raise an army and get to it, it's, like, five years later. It's like, what do you even do? Because it's just so massive, you know? Now they can fly a jet. You know what? I was just watched a video yesterday, Zach, where they, uh... We're comparing American jets to Russian jets, and they were talking about how American jets, if like a bird goes into the intake on takeoff, the jet is like ruined. They have to fix it. Hmm. And if and a Russian one can just like gobble the bird. That's like a thing. And they were talking about like combat readiness. American jets take a lot more prep, but Russian jets were built to be like flown in the in the field and landed in the field, and they're a lot easier to maintenance on. But the big difference is I think when they when they run like combat simulations. They, they will run the, I, I think it's either the F-15 or the F-22. The F-22 is the newest one that they have. And when they run a combat simulation, they ran, I think it's the F-15, they ran a combat simulation against the Russian jets, and I think it wins every time. And then when they ran the F-22, the new one, against the F-15, they ran a whole bunch of simulations, and it, it 108 to 0 is how many times it beat them. It's 108 to 0 is how many times it beats the F-15, the F-22. Wow. Isn't that insane? That is pretty insane, actually. It is crazy, man. And I think they uh, they ran or they ran some test flights. They were doing um, friendly exercises with France and Britain with their planes. I think Britain's is the Typhoon, and France has the Raphael or something plane jet. And the F twenty two beats them every single time <laughs> if it's it's at range, um, because it, it can it can hit enemies before it can see enemies. It's, it's like a stealth plane, and it. I guess when a radar hits it, it shows up as a bumblebee. That's how big of a radar presence it has. So they like huh. it's unbeatable at range, but they said in close quarters it it, um, it loses its advantage, and then it's like on a level playing field, but it still wins a lot. It's crazy, man. Yeah, who knows, dude? All of a sudden, I get a cease and desist letter from the dude, but it's like an email from him, and it's all poorly typed. I I like when he I think I watched a Repsion one where he. He threatened to sue Repsi Repsion for talk. Onision threatened to sue Repsion for talking about him, and so he sent him an email that was like from a lawyer. But you could tell, like, like it said, this this is Onision's lawyer. You have to cease and desist. But there's like a whole bunch of typos throughout the whole thing, <laughs> and it's exactly how Onision talks. I don't know. It's like a, it's like how a kid talks, man. That's what's funny about it. You have broken the law, and you must stop. 
Can you put This is my vegetarian body. What did he say it too? He goes, and not and half you motherfuckers don't have half of this body is mine or something. Dude, you gotta admire the confidence though, I guess, huh? Something like that. It's my idea. Oh shit, I'm getting sued. Uh-huh. That's what's gonna happen. If I get a cease and desist, I'm gonna forward it to you, son. Yeah. No. Lawyers cost a shit ton. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight for you. Okay, dude. You, you, we're gonna have to set up a legal fund. That I don't think that dude's got money to fight to do legal, pointless legal battles that he probably wouldn't win. Onesion? Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. He's washed up. Yeah, man. He's washed up, doesn't get the views anymore. And then um, I think that's the whole thing, right? Is the IRS is after him for a lot of money. Tax evasion kind of thing. Oh, we hit the five hours. I think that's that's going to be it right there, huh? Onision, the diaper-wearing lawyer. That's right, that new one where he's wearing a diaper. It's so fucking weird. I'm a baby. Oh, that dude is a creep, huh? Well, cool, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. I mean, you guys are super cool. You kind of hung out the whole time. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. Um, I was eight when that happened. Weird. Um, <laughs> but here, you guys, um, I know there were a couple things we talked about. You guys wanted me to collab with Kicking Geese, I think it was, and you wanted me to um, do something else to... Oh, you um, you were talking... Send me an email if you if you wanted to collab on like the merch thing there, uh, artist. So, um, yeah, toss them in. So send me those emails, guys. You guys enjoy the rest of your night. Have a good one.